hereby call to order. On the part of the House of Representatives panel of this Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on Cooperatives, I'm calling this JCOCC meeting to order. Yes, on, uh, on the part of the Senate also, we'd like to recognize my distinguished Vice Chair, uh, one of our uh, hardworking, one of our most hardworking uh, senators, lady legislators uh, in, the se in the Senate, and also a very good friend of our cooperative uh, advocacies, no other than Senator Risa Ontiveros. Ma'am, good morning. Good to have you always. May buntag, ma'am. And um, do I have compress if you have other colleagues that you'd like to also recognize? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, on the part of the uh, members of the JCOCC on the pa House panel, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Representative Jose G. Gladiernos, Representative Willie Caminero, and of course, Godofredo Buya of Recoborda Parties. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you uh, to our colleagues from the House. My Bunta, good morning. Uh, we'd like now to ask, uh, of course, the Committee Secretary, Ma'am Jingle, Aliam, to acknowledge the resource persons for today's JCOCC meeting. And um, when their name is called, please say, uh, here, I'm here, or hello, and wave your hand para at least makita po namin kung sino ang nagsasalita. Go ahead, please. Don't worry, hindi po ito blue ribbon, kaya hindi namin kaya hihingan ng, ano, ng oath. <laughs> Baka natakot si CDH. <laughs> okay, go ahead please, uh, Mink Jingle. <laughs> yes sir, good morning po. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Welcome to the third meeting of the Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on Cooperatives. Uh, our guest resource persons for today... Uh, from the government agency led by the Cooperative Development Authority under Secretary Joseph N. Cabo. Mayong buntag sa tanan kay uh, Senator uh, Mick Subiri, uh, Senator Risa Antiveros, and uh, also Congressman Presley, and sa mga cooperative leaders na nandito ngayon. Mayong buntag sa tanan. Thank you, sir. From the Department of Finance, we have Ms. Ines Santa In Irene Santa Ines, Policy and Planning Office. Good morning, po. Good morning, everyone. From the Department of Transportation, we have Mr. Jomir Pontawe and Engineer Alberto Swan Singh. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Also from the DOTR LTFRB, we have Maria Cristina Cacion, Executive Director, and Attorney Zona Tamayo. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. From the DOTR Office OTC, we have Mr. Eugene Pabulaan and Attorney Christian Oberio. My buntag sa tanan. My buntag. Senator Mex, o uh, magandang, uh, magandang umaga din kay Senator Risa, sa kay, kay Congressman Presley, at sa lahat ng mga kasama natin sa trabaho, lalo na sa mga leaders ng ating kooperatiba. Uh, Yusik and Cabo, magandang umaga din sa iyo. At yan pala si uh, Sami Abelio ng Cagayan de Oro. Thank you, sir. From the National Economic and Development Authority, we have Director Bian Ganapin and Ms. Esther Kinuta. From the, from the anti red Tape Authority, we have Attorney Janeline Tang. From the Bureau of Internal Revenue, we have OIC Assistant Commissioner Clavenila S. Nakar. Mrs. Chair. Hi, good morning, Mrs. Chair from ARTA. Uh, Director General Belhika, good morning, uh, Mrs. Chair. Um, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yes, thank you for joining us, Secretary. Uh, Sec thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. You. Good morning. 
From the NAPSI Cooperative Sector Please Council, we have the following. Ms. Marlene Sindayan, Dr. Garibaldi Leonardo, Ms. Illuminada Gomez, Attorney Daniel Evangelio Jr., Father Celso Falier, and Crisbel Kilao. Good morning po sa lahat. Good morning, Senator Mix, Senator Ricardisa, uh, Presley, and other members of the JCOPC. Uh, good morning, uh, CDA Chair Joy. From the Development Bank of the Philippines, we have Vice President Rustico Noli Cruz. From the Land Bank of the Philippines, we have Mr. Generoso S. David and Mr. Edgardo Luzano. From the Philippine Guarantee Corporation, we have Ms. Sonces Andeleon and Mr. Celso Gutierrez. From the Small Business Corporation, we have Mr. Wally Don Calderon and Mr. Jess Pelingon. Good morning, sir. Good morning to all. Good morning, everyone, sir, ma'am. From the cooperative sectors, we have the Bihaghari TSC, Mr. Romeo Bong Casino, Casino Jr. Uh, good morning, po, senators and uh, congressmen, uh, Yusek. Marami pong salamat sa pagkakataon na makabahagi. Salamat po sa Diyos. From the CODIS Federation of Co-ops, we have Professor Lenita S. Mentalaba. From the Tutransco Dumaguete, we have Mr. Jerry Batolina. From the Home Mortgage... Good morning, ma'am. From the Tutransco. Multipurpose Cooperative, we have Dr. Virgilio Marquez. Uh, good morning, Senator uh, Zubiri, Senator Hontiveros, USEC and Cabo, CDA Chair, uh, Kong, Kong uh, Presley Desus. Uh, good morning to all, and uh, God bless us. From Juy Bortoda Transport Cooperative, we have Mr. Fernando de la Cruz. Good morning, ma'am, teacher. Morning, Senator Sibiri. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. From the League of Cooperative Development, we have Ms. Celia Atienza. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Kay Senator Sibiri, kay Senator Risa, tsaka po sa aming uh, Congressman Presley. Sir Joy, good morning po. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. From the MSU IIT Iligan National MPC, we have Mr. Romeo Manzano Jr. Uh, good morning, uh, Senator Migs, uh, Senator Montiveros. Uh, good, mor good morning also to our uh, good congressman, Presley Dizos, uh, Sir Joy, uh, CDA Chair natin sa ating lahat. Good morning. From the National Federation of Transport, Port Cooperative, we have Mr. Vicente Artillero and Ms. Arlene Torres and Ms. Medim Venturina. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Sana po ay eh, safe time lahat sa araw na ito. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. From NTRC, we have Mr. Mark Lester Aure. Good morning po. From Nueva Segovia Consortium of Cooperatives, we have Ms. Divina Kwemi. Good morning, Senator Migs. Good morning, Senator Hontiveros, uh, Kong uh, Presley, Yusek Choi, and the rest of the honorable representatives of the different national government agencies, cooperative leaders. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, from Oro Transport Service Cooperative, we have Mr. Samuel Abelio. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, and thanks for the invitation. From the Philippine Cooperative Center, we have Mr. Edwin Bustillos and Ms. Almira Garais. Magandang umaga po, respective chairs, uh, Senator Zabiri, Congressman Presley, Senator Risa, uh, Yusek Cabo, fellow cooperators, and... 
other uh, representatives and legislators na nandito po sa atin. Thank you. From San Pedro Resettlement Area, TSCI, we have Ms. Cheryl Fontanilla. Good morning, everyone. Kay Senator Mike Soveri, kay Senator Fontaveros, under Secretaries and all the representatives. Ho hopefully, maganda po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Thank you, Pa. From Soro Soro, Ibaba Development Cooperative, we have Attorney Miguel Borigas. From the Santa Cruz Development Cooperative, we have Mr. Alexander Raquepo. Uh, good morning po sa lahat. Uh, from the North, na himbag ng bigat tayo amin, uh, Senator Miggs, uh, Senator Risa, si... Uh, Kung Presley, na yung bangkabigat mo, Apo Presley, or uh, EDA Chair, Yusek Joy, uh, magandang kabaga, yung mga uh, different representative of uh, the different agencies and banks, uh, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, at sa aking mga kapwa, uh, top leaders, entire the Philippines. Good morning. Thank you. From Tabaco, Legaspi TSCI, we have... Mr. Alex Banyares. And from United Negros Transport Cooperative, we have Mr. Romeli Soliguin. That's all, Senator, for the meantime. Thank you, Pop. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. I am United Negros Transport Cooperative, Romilly Suligen, uh, Senator Soberi, uh, Asik Incabo, and Director Eugene Pabalan. At sa mga kasamahan ko, fellow cooperators, magandang umaga po sa, sa inyong lahat. Thank you, ma'am Romilly. Uh, baka meron pang hindi natawag at nandito kasama natin. You can... Uh... State your name and uh, the cooperative or the sector that you are representing. Tatawaga na ba lahat sa lahat ng nagaten na yon? Okay, so let's proceed, everybody. I'll just proceed with my short opening statement with the permission of uh, the body. A welcome to the third meeting of the Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on Cooperatives. In today's meeting, we'll be discussing issues arising from the implementation of Chapter 5, Article 62, Subsection 9 of Republic Act 9520 on the alleged lack of preferential treatment providing or provided to our transport cooperatives. And other issues our transport cooperatives continue to experience regarding consolidation, the grant of franchise, and awarding of routes and other matters, particularly concerning the BIR. During the event of the National Federation of Transport Cooperatives, or NFTC, in Cebu last July, we learned that from some attendees, the problems being encountered by our transport cooperatives, mostly on the grant of franchise. But we have to remember that when a franchise is granted to private uh, corporations, ilang corporations lang ang nakikinabang dito. Whereas a franchise granted to a cooperative lahat ng miembro ng kooperatiba ay makikinabang. And then there's the LPTRP, now infamous LPTRP, which is the Local Public Transport Route Plan. It's a study or plan detailing the route network, mode, and required number of units per mode for delivering public land transport services. Under the DILG Memo Circular Number 2018-60, the LT, LP, TRP is the basis for the LTFRB's issuance of franchises for PUVs. It is also a requirement under the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program. We learned from the NFTC that the DPP and the L Land Bank of the Philippines has made the LPTRP a basis for the release of loans applied by our transport co-ops Ang problema po dito ay napakatagal bago ma-release o ma-submit ang LTTRP 
sa ating Land Transportation and, and Franchise Regulatory Board, no, LTFRB. And there's no specific time frame as to when the LPTRP would be finished. Ang hinahing ng ating mga kooperatiba na kung pwede, uh, kailan ba dapat matapos ang, nagtatanong ko sila, kung kailan ba dapat matapos ang LPTRP? May prescribed time frame ba para ma-release ma isang LPTRP? Kasi po, until the, this uh, uh, plan is released, hindi po sila maka-apply ng loan para sa kanilang modernization at ang modernization ng ating mga kooperatiba. So, ang lumalabas, no LPTRP, no loans, and definitely no franchise. Kawawa naman po ang ating mga transport ops. I am so disappointed over these bureaucratic hurdles that are forcibly imposed on our transport cooperatives who are made to process numerous documentary requirements in order to modernize. I know our transport cops are willing and ready to modernize, but sometimes napakahirap naman po ng mga requirements no, para sa kanilang uh, modernization program. As author, bilang author po ng Ease of Doing Business Act, I want to make sure the modernization process is swift and as easy as possible, especially since the three-year consolidation process for the PUV modernization program has already technically ended last April. Huwag naman po natin pahirapan ang ating mga transport cooperatives. Yan po kapila ko sa lahat ng resource persons natin dito, lalo na sa gobyerno. Let us help them and let us help the Filipinos help themselves. Uh, I'm also happy that uh, uh, our Director General of the ARTA is here, Director General uh, Belica. I'm so happy that you're here, sir, to help us out in uh, ironing this uh, uh, bureaucratic uh, red tape. No? Later on, we shall hear also from the DILG on their updates on the implementation of Republic Act 11535 <clears throat> or the Co-op Co-op's Development Officer Law. We shall also hear from uh, Manaseli. I saw Manaseli earlier of the Liga and Co-op Development Officers of the Philippines or uh, LCDAP. Her comments on the said update. With that, I am looking for, uh, forward to this productive meeting together with my dear colleagues from the House of Representatives. I thank you all for gracing us with your presence. And I now give the floor to my co-chair, Chairman Press Desus. Oh, Chairman, you are thank recognized, you. sir. Yeah, thank you, uh, Chairman Mix. No, okay. Uh, again, good morning, everyone. I hope this is well with everyone today. We meet again to tackle issues of concern of the cooperatives. As you know, the cooperatives for us, for me and Chairman Mix, we are the new oligarch of the Philippines. Tayo po ang magpapatakbo dati ng araw po. Tayo na po magpapatakbo ng negosyo. Yun ang magtatag na na equitability po na tayo po ang uh, gusto natin mangyari yan. Issues which should not be of concern. If only the law is applied as in the case of the preferential treatment of cooperatives in the case of the transport cooperatives and the exemption of cooperatives in the bidding requirements. Totoo po nangyayari. Kasi po, ang tingin nila, ay, cooperatives lang yan. Maliit. With the, uh, under the helm supervision of the USEC, Joe Incabo, the chairman of CDA, as I always call him, the listening chairman of uh, CDA. Makakaasa po kayo na si uh, Chairman Junin Cabo together with Chairman Mix and I, uh, of course, Senator Ontiveros uh, uh, nandito po together with the Power Block, eh, makakaasa po kayo na talagang tututukan po natin itong sector because I also come from an uh, elected cooperative. Today, we also look back to the actions taken during the July 28, 2021 JCOCC meeting, if such actions were implemented, if the concerns were addressed, as in the case of the concerns directed to the Bureau of Internal Revenue, such as the TIL, the TIN number, the Joint Administrative Order 1-2019, where the House Committee endorsed the amendment of the first offense as a warning before the revocation of the CTEs. The imposition of the documentary stamp tax issues, the credit, creditable withholding tax, which ASEC Malu Belen promised to bring to the attention of the commissioner. So here in JCOCC with Chairman Mix, 
inaayos po natin not only BIR but also concerns na banggit din niya kanina yung sa ARTA, tamang-tama nandito Director General. Sa totoo lang, pag sinabing cooperatives, you're being left behind. So, this is the this is a this is the proper uh, fora kung saan may raise natin lahat ng uh, issues and concerns natin. For me, every time they said hey, cooperatives lang yan, nasasaktan ako because I come from the sector of cooperative. I can I can feel also Chairman Mix and of course as uh, Senator uh, Rison Tiberos together with the uh, uh, Konguya, Konge, Pajeros and Kong uh, Benkanama. Ay galing ho kami sa cooperative sector. So kami nasasaktan. For me, there's no such thing as small or big co-op. Pare, pareho po tayo. We can compete to the private uh, companies because for us, ang maganda po sa atin, cooperativism is the name of the game. Kaya e rito po, sa meeting na po rin ito, ay makakasa po kayo. Chairman Mix and of course, uh, sa ating grupo natin, ay tutulong po kami sa abot namin makakaya. Again, good morning po sa atin lahat. Thank you very much, Chairman Mix. That's okay, Mr. President. Maraming maraming salamat, Kong Presley, and um, of course, um, to your colleagues and our colleagues in the House of uh, Representatives. May I ask if um, Senator Risa would like to have an opening statement? No, salamat kaayo, Chair. Uh, I'm just looking, really looking forward to our hearing today. Salamat kaayo. Thank you very much, Ma'am Risa. Baka meron po kayo, Kong Pres, na mga kasamahan na gusto magbigay ng opening statement? From the uh, Kong at the Kong Buya, you want to say something? Your open statement? Go ahead, Kong Buya. Wala, siguro. Chairman Mix, go ahead. Let's uh, give him another time. Go ahead, Chairman Mix. Yes, okay. Anyway, our colleagues, our members can interject at any time of the discussion to ask questions, to ask uh, uh, or to uh, give their uh, statements. No problem po at any time. So once again, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody. Lalo na si Chairman uh, Joseph. Good to see you, sir. Uh, nice to see you again. And tama sinabi ni Compressi, the listening chairman. Mabait yan. Mabait yan. Maraming you... salamat po. Good to see you, chairman. Yes, sir. So, Same here, sir. Nice to see you. So let's uh, proceed. Mayroon lang, I'll just ask Kong, my com committee secretary, Ma'am Jingle. Uh, we were supposed to uh, discuss initially first the problems of the transport sector. Pero meron daw tayong hinihintay na ASEC uh, in charge, si ASEC uh, body. Asik Badi Santos, is he already online with us, uh, Comsec, or should we proceed with uh, uh, the uh, Co-op Development Officer muna? Because it's, uh, I'd like to make sure that when we discuss, pag pinag-usapan na po natin itong transport sector, kompleto na po yung government agencies natin nandito. So, nakarating na po siya, uh, Ma'am Jingle? Sir, wala pa po siya, sir. <laughs> Pero proceeding na po, na proceeding ba siya sa, to join us sa Zoom? Opo, pero wala pa po. Ano. Nakarating na ba? Anong, ano po sabi ni, uh, ni ASEC uh, Santos? Mag-attend ba siya? Nakalanding na ba? Is anybody here from the DOTR? Mr. Chairman? Yes, yes, I can uh, see who's talking. See, see uh, who's you said Joy Po of CDA? And then, I'm talking about sa DOTR partner. Hindi po kayo, Chairman. Hindi, hindi uh, CDA. Sir, Chairman, for the information, Mr. Chairman, uh, Asik Abad is from CDA, ah, sir. Ah, sorry. He's a, from the CDA. Okay, okay. My mistake then. Yes, sir. Asik Abad is with the CDA. So we have, can, will there be other people that can answer the uh, queries of our, uh, our uh, uh, attendees today? Uh, with, with the indulgence of the with the indulgence of the good chairman, uh, Asik Abad is about to land uh, in Palawan and immediately he will join us. Uh, okay. And uh, Asik Abad is the oversight head for the transport cluster uh, in CDA, Mr. Chairman. All right. Okay, so let's start the ball rolling, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So it's all right, Chairman, kung umpisaan na natin yung, yung uh, hearing, even if uh, malate si... Asek, 
Go ahead, Chairman. Chairman, Chairman. Yes, sir. Okay. So sa ating co-op sectors, um, itong, itong binanggit ko kanina, I think this is the number one bone of contention sa so napakarami natin mga uh, kooperatiba. Itong LTPR, LPTRP. Nandyan po ba ang ating mga taga-DOTR, lalo na sa transport, uh, sa in charge of transport cooperatives? Could you explain to the committee, uh, lalo na kami ni Ma'am Risa, kasi although familiar po kami sa kooperatiba, farm, ako farmers co-ops, producers co-ops, uh, labor co-ops, ngayon lang nga po kami uh, nakakita nitong tinatawag na LPTR, LPTRP. This is the Local Public Transport Route Plan. Uh, may we ask the uh, DOTR, the uh, salient provisions of this uh, request, no, this plan, and why it is necessary for the, uh, why it's necessary as a prerequisite for so many requirements and permits. Uh, sino pang pwede magsagot niyan? Meron pa tayong LTFRB or uh, DOTR? Sir, from, from LTFRB po, Maria Cristina Cashon, Executive Director of the, LT, uh, of the LTF. Uh, si uh, si Ma'am Bingal, sino po ating recognize? Ah, yes, Ma'am. Ma'am Tina, are you, are you the one who is going to answer uh, my question, uh, Ma'am? Uh, perhaps sir, the, the DOTR can add, but I can say something on that, sir, because um, yung atin pong uh, local public transportation route plan ay ang, ang layunin po kasi niyan, sir, is yung mga ruta po ay manggagaling po sa ating mga LGU. Sila po kasi ang unang-unang nakakaalam po ano po yung mga pangangailangan ng mga ruta at ilan po yung mga public utility vehicles in whatever denominations po na kailangan-kailangan nila sa kanila pong mga uh, LGUs po. Pero po sir, yung sinasabi po na nagiging requirement ang, ang LPTRP doon po sa mga loans, uh, kinaklarify ko lang po sir na it has not been a requirement by the LTFRB po. It is a requirement of the development, the loan facilities po, the like, like, uh, more particularly, the Development Bank Authority po. Kasi ang proseso po ng, ng, ng uh, LTFRB po, sa ilalim po ng PUV modernization program natin, meron tayong uh, uh, memorandum circular po na inisyo ng ating board na uh, kapag po ang isang individual operator ay nag-consolidate po in a uh, entity such as uh, cooperative po, uh, maiisyuhan po siya ng provisional authority. And supposed to be po doon sa ating memorandum circular, kapag ka, meron ka na pong provisional authority, ito po ang iyong pinapakita doon sa mga loan facilities po uh, like DBP and Land Bank po na uh, ito po ay magiging uh, basis po na pwede ka nang maka-avail po ng loan na under po sa ating uh, under po sa ating modernization program, ay meron pong uh, subsidy din mula sa ating national government. Yung 5% subsidy equivalent to uh, 160,000 po per unit na subsidy. Um, alam po ito ng mga transport sector po dahil noong mga nakaraang mga taon po, ganito lang po kasimple yung ating proseso po doon sa paglo-loan. But currently po, naglabas po, I think for this year uh, or 2020, if I'm not mistaken, naglabas po si DBP ng, ng uh, palisiya po na uh, yung mga ka-avail po ng mga loans, ayun lamang po na may approved na mga LPTRP. Ito po kasing ang naging, ang naging issues and concerns lang po ng mga LGU po and even dun sa mga uh, coordination meetings with LTFRB po, uh, mag naging dahil sa pandemya po ay naging mas nakat na tumutok ang ating mga LGU daw po doon sa mga uh, pandemic responses po natin kaya medyo po na 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 ano na divert po yung kanilang attention doon sa pag paggagawa ng mga LTTRP although there are LGUs po na successfully nakagawa na po ng kanilang mga uh, mga local public transportation route plan uh, mahalaga din po kasi sir yung ating local transportation route plan sa stability po ng ating transportation po na hindi na po magagalaw at 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 uh, yun na po yung yung 
yung ruta po nila talaga. And um, siguro po sir, dun sa, sa issue po na nire-raise ng transport sector, dahil ilang beses na din po yan nire-raise din sa amin and there have been many uh, coordination meetings with the DBP if perhaps they can reconsider also this requirement uh, na i-honor lang din sana yung yung uh, memorandum circular that was issued by LTFRB na yung provisional authority will stand na yun na po yung magiging basis nila para makapag-loan po. Yun po yung sentiments at naiintindihan po namin yung sentimento po ng ating mga transportation sector po. Yeah. Thank you, Dina. No? I just want to find out kasi the process. Baka naman napakahirap kumuha ng uh, LPTRP sa local level, no? sa local government units. Uh, there must, I'm sure, meron, kasi number one complaint ito na nakikita ko sa lahat ng transport cooperatives na sumusulat sa amin, ibig po sabihin may bottleneck yan. May kung saan sila natitigil o hindi na ilalabas, kaya natatagalan din yung application nila ng loan. Siguro kausapin natin yung sektor. Uh, Compress or uh, who would you suggest na unahin natin sa sektor ng uh, transport? Is there a federation head of the transport cooperatives to speak on their behalf? Um, Ma'am Chingel, wala sa akin yung listahan eh. Sorry, I'm working yes, for both of them. Sino po? NFTC po. Yes, can we have uh, them to uh, oh, make complaints? Magkakapot mag mag si Chairman. Please, uh, Sir Vic, ikaw ba ito? Apo, apo, apo. apo. Vicente Artillero po from the National Federation of Transport Cooperative. Sige, Sir Vic, ikaw na lang po ang uh, salita on behalf ng mga problema ng transport cooperative, ang problema ninyo po dito sa sa uh, mga request. Uh, wala po kayong, ano, Sir Vic, wala po kayong uh, camera para makita po namin kayo? Ma-on pa po yung camera. Baliktad po itong camera eh. Bakit ito na nakikita ko eh? <laughs> oh, sige po. Uh, anyway, anyway. Dinigyan mo po. Okay, okay. Uh, ito nga pong nakaraang Congress na ginawa natin sa Cebu, yun po ang number one sentimento ng ating mga alay ng mga transportasyon kooperatiba. Kasi nga po, hindi po sila makapag-loan sa banko dahil nga po nire-required sila ng LP, LPTRP. Dito naman po sa Manila, Sa NCR, ang requirement naman po ay ang RRP, Road Rationalization Plan. Dahil nga po, interconnected po tayo. Dahil uh, Quezon City, mapupunta ng Pasig, mapupunta ng Mandiruyo. So, RRP naman po yon Road Rationalization Program. Ngayon nga po, dahil nga po sa requirement na binigay ng DBP o Landbank, na kinakailangan magkaroon tayo ng LPTRP. Subalit, hanggang ngayon nga po, hindi po makapagsumite ang ating local government ng kanilang road plan. Kaya nga po hinihintay ng ating LTFRB yung kanilang mga plano sa kanilang mga nasasakupang LGU. Kaya paramihan naman po sa transport po natin ay very much willing to undergo PUBMP. Gustong gusto na po nila talaga. Yun nga lang po ang nagbibigay sa gabal ito pong uh, LPTRP. Kaya kung masusunusunan nga po yan, actually, consolidated na nga po yung karamihan eh. Marami na po tayong existing transport co-op sa uh, buong Pilipinas at marami pong mga individual uh, na operator ang nagsama-sama at nagtayo na po ng kooperatiba. Makikita nyo po sa ating record ng ating CDA at ng OTC Nito pong nakalipas sa isang taon, eh napakarami pong nag-consolidate at marami pong nagparehistrong kooperatiba, transport ko. Kaya nga po, dahil nga po dito sa programa ng ating gobyerno na mag-consolidate. Sabi nyo nga po kanina, technically, eh natapos na nga po yung three year na kailangan mag-consolidate. So sana naman po, magtuloy-tuloy pa rin, pero sana nga po dahil Recently lang, na narin po natin ang Pangulong Duterte, eh, sumama sa nga, eh, climate change. O, eh, ito nga pong modernization, eh, para sa climate change nga po natin. Eh. So dapat nga po ma-implementa na. Uh, yun lang po, yun po ang sentimento ng ating karamihan. At pangalawa po, dahil nga po sa nangyayari, puro delay-delay, tuloy-tuloy delay, eh, naman po ang penalty ng ating mga kasamahang operatiba. Siyempre, kada delay po, ang pagdiregistro dahil hindi nga po magampanan nagpandemya 
Eh sana naman po itong mga penalty eh, mawala na rin, Mr. Senator. Ano yung penalty na yan, uh, Sir Vic? Ano yung penalty uh, na yan? Yung po yung mga penalty, pag na-delay po kayo mag-rehistro, magpa-confirm. Ah, yes. Ang Mag penalty sa LTO yan, sa LTO. Opo, LTO at saka LTMR din po. Pareho lang po yun, pareho po. Yun lang po, ang mga hinay ng ating karamihan. Going back, balik po tayo sa LPTRP, uh, Sir Vic. Yung sinasabi mo kanina, yung, uh, yung root plan, iba't ibang root plan, yung, may intercity root plan, may uh, root plan okay, amongst uh, uh, the other cities. Uh, yung pwede mo ba ikwento sa committee kung paano nyo ina-apply yan? So, ina-apply nyo sa local government. For example, taga Manila po kayo. So, mag-apply po kayo sa local government unit ng Manila? Meron po sila... Uh, correction po. Hindi po kami nag apply Yung po ang hinihintay ng LTFRB. Kasi nga po, nung magpirmahan po tayo ng Omnibus Franchise Guidelines, ay kasama po ang ating local government sa plano po ng PUBNP. So, sa madaling salita nga po, nire-required po ng DOTR na kasama ang ating DILG, mag-sumiti sila sa DOTR ng LPTRP at RRP. Okay. Okay, hindi para po kami ang humihingi. Na... Hindi Opo. po kami ang humihingi nun. Sige, uh, para maliwanagan po tayo lahat, Sir Vic, ang ibig nyo sabihin, hindi kayo ang nagpiproduce nitong LPTRP. Opo, hindi po, hindi po. So, uh, sino ang bibigay? Para sure, sino nagbibigay po nitong uh, LPTRP? LGU? Hindi po, local, LGU po, LGU po. Nire-require po ng DOTR yan. Okay, so ang proseso, kayo po ay nag apply sa LTFRB, tama, ng prangkisa. Hindi, okay. may prangkisa na po kasi nga po, kooperatiba na po. Existing, eh, so, existing, po prang, existing ang prangkisa ninyo okay. sa loob ng mga. Para nga po kami makasama sa modernization, kinakailangan nga po magkaroon nga po ng LPTRP na nire-required nga po ng banko. At yun naman pong LPTRP, yan naman po ay requirement ng po ng DOTR. Kailangan niya po ang bawat local government ay merong LPTRP. Ngayon nga lang po, dito nga po sa atin sa Metro Manila ay RRP. Dahil nga po, uh, interconnected city tayo, ay hindi naman po pwedeng magkaiba yung plano ng Marikina, iba ang plano ng Quezon City. Kailangan po isa ang plano ng Metro Manila. Kaya nga po sa Metro Manila, ang tawag po doon ay RRP. Road Rationalization Program. Okay. So, very clear na ang inyong uh, LPTRP, ito root plan, yung inyong uh, root plan, ay manggagaling sa LGU. Um, Apo. po, sa mga membro po ninyo, ilan na pa ang nabigyan ng LPTRP na kanila mga LGU at ilan pa ang prosento ang hindi pa nabibigyan? Ako, may record po ang LPTRP dyan. Sa bagay na yan po, uh, pinakamaganda po tanongin natin po ang LPTRP. LTFRB. Kasi nga po, isinosumiti po yun sa LTFRB. Pero nito nga pong nakaraang pagdinig na narinig ko kay Chairman Delgra, eh para pong sabihin natin, wala pa pong less than 100 eh ang nabigyan, nabigyan ng local government eh. Uh, correct me if I'm right from LTFRB. Hindi ko po sigurado yung figure na yan. Opo, At kaya, ano, ano kaya ang dahilan, Sir Vic, na hindi kayo nabibigyan? Nandito yung okay. akta na yun. Nandito si Director General Uh, eh, ang makasasagot niyan po ay LTFRB kasi nga po, binihingi nga po ng LTFRB yan sa mga local government. So tanungin po natin yung LTFRB. Um, may we ask uh, LTFRB to respond to my query? Sir, if I may? Yes, ma'am. Bernie Tamayo po po and at the same time in the office of the legal division the central officer. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, po, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, and to everyone here. If I may, lang po, uh, brief back, um, in addition to what was previously um, stated by our Executive Director. Ang mm -hmm. LPTRP um, po kasi ay isa sa component po ng IPU modernization program. Ang intention po nito is to have that active participation po from our LGUs regarding the routes po sa kanilang respective jurisdictions. 
So ang nangyayari po, um, may training po ito na kinandak ng DOTR nationwide and based um, as an output of that training is our local governments to have their local transport plan po, yung LPTRP. Including po ano yung mga dapat na rota, ano yung mga modes of public transport in their respective jurisdictions. Now once na nagawa po ito ng GU, pinapa-approve po sa amin based din po sa mga um, standards po na naiset on how to make that local transport plan no po once po na napacheck na po sa amin yan that um, LPTRP will have to be converted into an ordinance po na mga LGUs so that ordinance po gives the signal that they are adopting in their jurisdiction po yung kanilang ginawa rin na route plan no for public transport Ma'am, now attorney attorney favor no we can okay. we go step by step para uh, my apologies i'm not familiar kasi with yes. the transport uh, sector okay. cops, uh, a problem so when you have, so basically according to sir Vic kanina meron na silang franchise uh, meron na silang rota diba so they're just finalizing it with this LPTRP which are you, you are saying should be also approved by which should be approved actually by the local government in which the local government will provide an ordinance so that the Anpanang council meeting yan, di ba? Uh, approval of council sir, is that correct yes sir uh, partially sir uh, I, i'd just like to uh, walk you through through that yung mga existing po ngayon na mga uh, operators um the consolidation aspect po is another component of um, the PUV modernization program apart po from the LPTRP. So, yung kabuuan ho ng, uh, ng uh, PUVMP, yung uh, PUV modernization program, iba-iba pong components. Now, yung po mga existing operators individually uh, are required to have that industry consolidation. Kaya nga po, marami po ngayon ay uh, nagko-consolidate po into a cooperative. Yun pong mga individuals na nag-consolidate po into a cooperative, yung mga individuals po na yan ay mga existing operators po natin. So meron po sila mga valid franchises. Now, once na nag-consolidate po sila into a cooperative, they can apply, they are allowed to um, apply their existing routes using yung atin pong uh, provisional authority. Kasi po yung provisional authority, nagkakaroon po niya na ipinapangalan na natin sa kooperatiba yung mga individual na franchise. Kasi nga po, nagsama-sama na sila. So pag sinabi po nila sa amin, nagsama-sama na ho kami, nag-file na ho kami ng application na nakalagay ho doon na nag-consolidate kami, nag-issue po si LTFRB noong provisional authority in the name na po noong kooperatiba instead of yung individual pa po na franchise just to um, give that sign nga po that they are now operating as a cooperative. So yun po yung yun po yung proseso po sa amin. So right now po, once na nag-consolidate po, apply sa amin at sinasabi nila nag-consolidate sila, issue po kami ng provisional authority and of the cooperative using the existing route this uh, individual sa uh, consolidate na po and right now po we are allowing them using still their uh, existing units so yung mga old units po so tumatakbo po yan so hindi ho nakahamper yung kanilang operation dahil po nakakatakbo sila sa kanilang mga existing routes using their existing units so yun po yung uh, isang aspeto po ng no modernization now another aspect nga po itong PUV mod, uh, sa PUV modernization program po yung LPTRP. Yung LPTRP as I've mentioned po kanina is part of the whole modernization program in which po we are seeking the active participation of our local government uh, units kasi nga po alam din nila on the ground in their respective jurisdictions kung ano po ang mode of public transport, ano po yung rota na applicable po sa kanilang uh, local government. So yun po, nag-training po tayo, uh, nag-submit po ang ating mga issues, and then po, na, pumas um, na ayos po yun, um, 
i-adapt po noong council para maging ordinansa po. Now, um, as far as LTFRB is concerned nga po, as I've mentioned, sa ngayon po, mag apply lang ho sila, yung mga co-op po natin, uh, parang infor formally informing us that they have already consolidated. Ang nagiging um, problema po kasi ngayon is um, previously po kasi once that they apply, uh, they would also have to change na po yung kanilang units in conformity po doon sa ating uh, na set po ng DTI na uh, national standard ng ating mga vehicles. So doon po pumapasok yung once na nag-consolidate po sa atin, yung next step nila is to go to the banks for financing po so that they can upgrade their units. Dati po, um, hindi naman po nire-require ng mga banko yung LPTRP. So, meron tayo po, nakikita nyo po, meron na po tayong mga uh, co-ops po in the past that have already acquired or um, uh, secured loans po from uh, BBP and Land Bank. They were able to purchase po uh, modern units already. Even po doon sa kanilang respective jurisdiction ay wala pa pong LPTRP. Even in Metro Manila po, uh, even without the approved the uh, route rationalization plan, meron na po tayong mga existing co-ops na nakapag-modernize na po ng mga units nila at nagkaroon na po ng mga approved loans po doon sa dalawang bangko. However, so, 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 Ibig mo sabihin, panibagong requirement ito? Yes, na, sir. Ngayon, yun po yung nangyayari. Yes, sir. Yun po ay nangyayari po previously. However po, um, recently po, DBP in particular required an approved LPTRP as a loan requirement po sa kanila. Kaya po, meron po tayo, uh, naman po tayo. Linawin lang natin, attorney, no? They're not requiring for this root plan. Where yes, sir. Your provisional authority to operate, okay na. Yes, sir. In, in fact, sir, um, even now po, hindi po requirement ni LTFRB in the meantime ang LPTRP for the granting of a PA, of a provisional authority. We grant provisional authority, sabi ko nga po, even uh, when they, they are operating their existing routes, and um, using their uh, existing units. Pwede, uh, nagbibigay ho ang LTFRB ng provisional authority um, already under the name of the cooperative. So tumatakbo ho lahat sila sa kanilang uh, existing routes using their existing units under a provisional authority in the name of the co-op. Recently lang po, nag-require ho si uh, DBP as part of their loan process po ng approved LPTRP. Doon ho nagkaroon ng uh, concern po ang ating mga co-ops dahil uh, we recognize po their willingness really to um, participate po sa ating PUV modernization program. It's just, it just so happened po ngayon that DBP is requiring for an approved LPTRP which as I've mentioned po has to go a certain its uh, process uh, ending po doon sa adoption po ng council through uh, an ordinance po. Doon ho nagkaroon ng uh, concern po. But as far as LTFRB po is concerned, sa ngayon ho ang ating mga uh, co-ops po ay tumatakbo po uh, under um, their units, existing units and in their existing routes under a provisional authority. Yung approval po ng LPTRP has been a requirement recently lang po ng DBP. Okay, so it seems very clear now. It's very clear naman na sa inyo, wala naman na walang route out franchise with the lack in the absence of the LPTRP. It is the, pro the problem na is, the problem lies pag mag-modernization na sila, hindi sila maka-apply ng loan. So yes, that was the Mr. Chair, if I may point. add, Yes, please. Uh, Ms. Compress, I'll, I'll like to recognize Compress. Uh, okay, Compress. thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, um, uh, did you invite yung LG, uh, DILG, Mr. Chair? Kasi mukhang uh, kahit na makais natin to LTFRB, 
eh, itong DILG naman, with the, just imagine, Mr. Chair, eh, kung lahat ito kukuha na ng ordinance, eh, napakarami na ito. So, pasakit na naman sa mga kooperatiba to to, ano, uh, to renew yung kanilang modernization. So, I think eh, we should invite the DILG uh, to make sure na talaga to harmonize between the LTFRB and the LGO. Kasi alam naman natin, pagpasa ng ordinance, baka mapolitika pa sila, instead na maayos na lahat yan, uh, maganda sana mangyayari ito, Mr. Chair. So, uh, with your indulgence, Mr. Chair, maybe I we can invite oh, next yes. time. Thank you. I, I agree with you 1,000%. Kaya nga, ipinasa natin yung ease of doing business. Eh. Ang gusto po natin, mawala na yung hawak ng gobyerno sa mga issuance itong permits, licenses, and certifications. Kasi kung Lalo na yun, hingan mo pa ng ordinansa yan, dadaan pa sa konseho yan, kakausapin mo sa pong miyembro ng konseho, uh, talagang you are subject to so many stressful instances. I would like to put stressful. Natatawa si Chairman Joseph sa akin. Di ba, Joseph Chairman? Stressful instances. Kasi dati nasa OP yan. Kaya alam niya, medyo stressful. Iba't ibang ahensya ng gobyerno. So, uh, what we wanted to achieve was the less, uh, uh, I'd say, government uh, contact or face-to-face -face contact would be the best. Apply lang po, labas yung uh, apply online, labas yung LT, uh, anin, itong ating uh, root plan as easy as and as quickly as possible para mapabilis. Pero the fact on the ground, tama yung sinabi ni Congress, ay napakahirap kumuha nito mga ordinansya. At kung nationwide pa ito, Congress, nakaw, from Apari to Tawi-Tawi, hihingi mo sila lahat ng... Uh, Root plan, hindi ko alam kung mga action na nila. I don't know if they will be as quick as other LGUs. So, may we uh, ask uh, if we have... Yes, yes, there's a lady who's trying to... Uh, please state your name po. Mr. Chairman, Riso Antiveros po. Ay, Ma'am Risa, sorry. Hindi ko makita. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Let me put my... I will change the layout of my screen. Okay. Uh, Ma'am Risa, you're, you're most welcome to... Salamat kaayo, Mr. Chairman. Oh, in line with the... Uh, words so far of Rep. Presley, uh, Co-Chair Presley and the Chair Mix. I'd just like to make of record that the committee received the position paper from the United Cooperative Movement Philippines signed by representatives of PCC, NCDC, LCDOP, Co-op Not, co List, and NFTC. And related nga po, Mr. Chair, to the this uh, concern we're discussing, the group... Uh, claimed in their position paper that root rationalization put the transport co-op sector in a disadvantageous position. So napaka-ironic po, Mr. Chair. At uh, I'm wondering kung yung LTFRB at yung DILG na binanggit din ni uh, Co-Chair Presley exhaustively engaged the transport co-ops in the process and if they've rendered assistance to the sector. Kasi po, baka naman nag-aantaya ng LTFRB, ang DILG, at saka yung mga LGUs natin, Mr. Chair, for the record po. Sir, can I answer po? Ma'am Chair, if you want to ask, uh, Ma'am Risa, my Vice Chair, if you want to ask, uh, uh, please go, go ahead and uh, ask them directly. Yeah, salamat. Salamat kaayo, Mr. Chair. Ayun po, um, I just like to post that question to the LTF. So maybe, maybe we get an answer from the DILG. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Ma'am, so, if I may answer po. Yes, Mr. Chair, kung maaari uh, po si Attorney Sumita pa rin po sa LTF. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Please, please go ahead. Uh, okay, thank you, sir. Um, ganito po kasi, no, um, yun pong, uh, yes, sir, ganito po, yun pong patuloy na pag-operate po ng ating mga co-ops is not hampered by an, the, the absence of an approved LPTRP. As I've mentioned po kanina, they are still allowed to, to apply or to operate their existing routes noon sila po ay mga individual po yan kasi ang ating consolidation po ay per route no so for example po mayro isang co-op na nag-apply po under the PUVMP natin po magfa-file lang ho sila ng petition sa amin application telling us LTFRB na kami po ay nag-consolidate na po mga individual po na nag-consolidate into a cooperative 
Ito po yung aming rota, ito po yung aming mga existing units. The moment po that we receive that application indicating that they have consolidated into a cooperative, we issue a provisional authority under the name na po noong cooperative, regardless of whether there's an approved LPTRP or not. So sa, sa process po ng pagpapatuloy ho ng operations ho nila, hindi ho yan nahahamper kung may LPTRP po o wala. Okay. Pero ho, as I've mentioned earlier, LPTRP is one of the several components of the um, modernization program. Yung LPTRP po, ito ay naging parte ho nitong kabuuan ng programa because we want to engage our local governments po in their, the transport plan, planning. In the past po kasi, it was solely um, the OTR, LTFRB na nagde-determine po ng mga routes na i-open, kung ano po yung patatakbuhin. But uh, uh, as we've learned po, marami rin ho sa ating mga LGUs ang gusto po na sila rin ay mabigyan ng pagkakataon na uh, i-determine din po as part of their traffic management um, yung part po nung pagpaplano ho ng mga rota. And ito po ay through the, this, sa ngayon po is through this LPTRP. Kaya ho, kinuha natin yung active participation po ng LGUs na sila po sa, sa on the ground ang nakakaalam din po ng transport demand sa kanila mga areas. Yun po yung uh, um, pinaka-reason din po bakit ho natin sinama ang pagkakaroon ng route planning locally doon ho sa modernization program. Now, of course po, para ma-strengthen po yung ginawa ni LGU na plano sa kanilang jurisdiction po, it has to be adopted by the council through an ordinance. Kaya ho yun yung magiging um, finished product po ng LPTRP na after undergoing all these processes of um, studying, making the survey within their areas, ay ma-adapt po ng konseho at maging ordinansa. Again, ito pong approval is not a requirement po sa ngayon para ho mapatuloy na mag-operate ang ating mga uh, cooperatives. Now, it just happened po na recently, uh, DBP, which is one of the two banks nagbibigay po ng financial help po sa ating mga co-ops to modernize their units, required an approved LPTRP. Doon ho, nag, uh, nagkaroon, doon ho nag-start yung concern po na marami na hong um, ating mga co-ops po nag-consolidate and then their next step is to go to the banks to um, seek for loans. Nabinbin ho ang kanilang mga uh, loan applications dahil nga po dito sa naging requirement ni uh, Land Bank. Eventually po, through the process of the, the modernization program, sabi ko nga ho kanina, they will be running under pro, their provisional authority, kailangan ho natin sa LTFRB na yung route po nila na tinatakbo ay uh, either po um, ma-modify based on the LPTRP or ma-retain as it is Big sabihin po yung local government kung saan ho sila tumatakbo ay payag pa rin ho no based on the local government's planning and surveys then uh, magiging um, part na ho siya doon sa the whole process of the modernization. So yun po ang uh, sa side po ng L LP ng LTFRB po. At maraming salamat sa Attorney Zona. In that case, Mr. Chairman, nakikiis ako sa pinoint out ni uh, Co-Chair Presley kanina na magandang makuha din natin yung uh, participation, yung tulong ng DILG dito na i-encourage, i-follow up yung kanilang mga uh, LGUs na maipasanga bilang ordinansya yung kanilang uh, LPT uh, RP at na appreciate ko po yung appreciation din ng LTFRB sa mga transport co-op na in fact gusto ng mga co-op na suportahan ang kanilang mga miyembro na fully mag-participate dun sa modernization program nga lang nabibitin dahil wala pa yung LPTRP na iyon sa lahat ng uh, LGUs. Sana din po, Mr. Chairman, yung provisional uh, authority na binanggit ni 
sorry, a provisional loan authority na binanggit ni Mr. Artillero kanina ay muling ma-honor ng mga banko kasi bago lang palang dagdag na requirement sa loan itong approved uh, by ordinance na LPT uh, RP ang nang, mukhang ang nangyayari na naiipit at nabibitin yung ating mga transport co-op sa gitna nitong mga ahensyang ito on both sides ang mga LGU, DILG and on the other side yung mga banko sa gitna, buti na lang may LTFRB na sumusuporta naman sa kanila. I understand na hindi po na encumber yung operations nila as co-ops but hindi sila ganap na maka-operate optimally sa modernization program dahil nga nabibitin yung uh, loan application uh, requirements nila, Mr. Chairman. Salamat po. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we just have a list of those who uh, would like to comment. Um, of course, we recognize our chairman. Uh, yung ake lang, uh, Chairman Presi, kasi mahina yung signal ko sa bahay. Kaya isa minamanifest ko ito sa Lorna. I-open up na natin yung ating telco at saka kung ano, sino makapasok dito na banyaga. Kasi kung ilan lang kukunan natin ng network, hindi talaga maganda ang servisyo. I, uh, <laughs> so, kung mawala po ako and uh, I will be disconnected, please take over Congress as my chair. No problem, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, thank you, Mr. Chair. No, siguro dito papasok, Mr. Chair, yung pinasa nating uh, cooperative uh, development officer na kung saan mismo sa LGU siya nakatalaga, kung magkakaroon ng problema, ay pwede natin silang tutukan uh, with, of course, uh, si Chairman Joy Incabo ang CDA natin, Chairman CDA, he can task the Cooperative Development Officer sa bawat munisipyo na tutukan nila, tulungan nila itong mga uh, cooperative natin sa transport na mapabilis ang, uh, ang uh, pagpasa ng ordinansya. Kasi it's going to be really uh, uh, a help compared to the, just imagine, sampung consulors o meron pa tayong presiding officer na kailangan pakitunguhan mo pagkalaban ka, baka hindi ka di ma-approve yung kooperatiba. So, ito yung pinasa natin doon na uh, Senator Risa at uh, Chairman Mix na yung Cooperative Development Officer na dapat tututukan ito ngayon. Chairman Joy, if I can ask Chairman Joy with regard to this, uh, Chairman uh, Chair Mix. Good morning, uh, Chairman Mix and uh, Chairman Presley and uh, everyone. Well, with regards to the statement of the uh, Honorable Congressman uh, Presley, I believe that the the CDOs, the Cooperative Development Officers in the uh, different LGUs, play a vital role in lobbying and expediting the possible ordinance that can uh, support the uh, application of the transport cooperatives with regards to LPTRP. And now, uh, I just like to put this on record, Mr. Chair that uh, the CDA doesn't want to be part of the funnel of delay in the application of this, no? That's why we make sure that every time there is a transport organization that would like to be converted into cooperatives, we ensure that the certificates of uh, registration and the certificates of compliance will be issued in due time and adequate time because I believe that the transport cooperatives are very eager to uh, process their documents in compliance to this modernization program. And uh, with the role of the cooperative development officers in the LGUs, they have the immediate information that they could grab and secure what is the current status and condition of these cooperatives, and they could also uh, transmit that to the local counterparts so that the council will have a better view and appreciation how important it is that these transport cooperatives should be provided support and be able to operate the fastest uh, time possible. So with the, with the Republic Act uh, being uh, uh, crafted by uh, Senator Subiri, Senator Tiveros, and uh, Kong Presley, this is one of the avenue factors that can contribute in the development and advancement of the transport cooperatives. We're not looking only on the role, 
but it can also be expanded in such a way that the cooperative development officers can be our eyes and ears. And this could also contribute to the, to the crafting of policies in order not only for transport co-ops, but other co-ops as well that could benefit the partnership between our agencies, the legislative branch, and the local government unit. So I believe the CDO is very crucial now in the advancement and betterment of the cooperatives. Mr. Chair, 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 Mr. Chair,
baka kaya hinihingi rin ho ng DBP uh, ang mga ito because of their capacity to, to pay because baka nga anytime mawala po yung kanilang authority. So Mr. Chair, baka ang I aming mean, one of the things that we would be looking at and working with um, uh, LTFRB on this and DBP, baka naman Mr. Chair, um, if LTFRB could already consider issuing instead a franchise in place of a PA. Kasi Mr. Chair, ang provisional authority po, pagka hinintay pa natin itong sinabi nga po natin na LTPRB, baka ho tumagal and uh, we would also be willing to work with the LGUs on this. But a franchise, Mr. Chair, uh, would be a more stable uh, basis for the banks to rely on. Number two po, Mr. Chair, uh, since we are already issuing a provisional authority, dito po sa ating mga kasamahan sa mga kooperatiba, and they are already being allowed to operate on the ground, meaning sila po ay assumed, uh, presumed to be roadworthy. Bakit hindi natin sila bigyan na ng uh, frankisa, Mr. Chair, kung ang franchise naman ay one year lamang? At, at in that way, the, the nature of a franchise at the same time, Mr. Chair, is also a privilege that could also be withdrawn or, or malagyan ho ng... ng ng uh, ilang mga kondisyon na for example kapag lumabas na po yung LTPRB then baka pwede namang siguraduhin lang ng mga kooperatiba na sila po yung magko-comply so baka in that way Mr. Chair we would also be able to give, give an assurance to the bankos na okay yan mga yan tumatakbo yan mga yan may prangkisa na yan mga yan kaya wag nyo nang hingan in fact kapag hindi sila mag-comply dun sa LTPRB then they could actually be uh, made to answer and pwede naman i-revoke anytime. So in this case, Mr. Chair, this is uh, one of the things that we were also um, uh, submitted to LTFRB uh, as a recommendation two years ago na kapag ka paulit, eh, every three months binibigyan nila ng provisional authority, baka pwedeng bigyan na ng prangkisa, Mr. Chair, on this para hindi na ho sila nagre-renew ng kanilang provisional authorities. Yun lang, Mr. Chair, but we would be uh, committing ourselves again to discuss with LTFRB, DIC, DILG, and also the LGUs concerned, Mr. Chair, and even DBP, Mr. Chair, because these, these are uh, uh, government banks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Director General. We need you here, uh, DG. Kailangan namin ng tulog yes, dito, uh, your leadership, because uh, again, as you notice, it's always a bottleneck somewhere. We always uh, come up with bottlenecks uh, as we go along with the implementation of these uh, programs no, and plans. So, uh, yan, pwede po kayo magsumbong sa ARTA, ha? Lahat po na may problema, ha? Pwede po ninyo sunatan yung ARTA, aksonan po ng Director General natin yan. Ginawa po natin yung uh, opisina na yan para mabigyan po ng uh, tulong itong ating mga uh, kababayan na namumublema dito sa mga applications nila, lalo na sa mga government offices. Now, we have a list, but I will just start the... Uh, oh yes, uh, Congress, go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, nandito na si Congressman Ben Kanama. Uh, he wants to say something now. Uh, acknowledge him. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Kong Ben, yes, please, go ahead, please, Kong Ben. Yeah. Thank, you. Uh, thank you so much, Senator Meg. Senator Meg Sibiri, ang champion natin sa mga kooperatiba diya sa Senado. Thank you so much, we really appreciate mga efforts mo para matulungan po yung mga kooperatiba. Uh, and po sa mga kooperatiba sa buong bansa, kami ni Kong Christine na pasalamat talaga sa pag uh, sacrifice mo no para matulungan po sila. I hope this meeting with the GCOCC will finally resolve mga concerns and issues po uh, na hinarap po sa mga transport cooperatives, lalo na po ngayon na patuloy pa yung mga pandemic. Uh, we, we would like to recognize then, uh, Senator, yung airport sa DUTR na parang na mabayaran na po yung mga uh, bayaran na ito sa libreng sakay o sa service contracting. At saka mas maganda yung sinasabi kanina ni Senator Risa na nasa na yung mga policies natin ma-adjust din in accordance with the pandemic uh, na hindi na masyadong mahirapan. Uh, para mas hindi mas siguro ma sacrifice yung mga basic but medyo ma relax in order to more or less facilitate yung pag release sa mga required documents uh, I, i'm sorry ngayon ako nakapasok and i would like to thank speaker Pilasco for reappointing me 
uh, to the GCOCC. So sa mga kasamaan po natin sa cooperative sector, tulad din the CDA, community people, good morning po, uh, lahat lahat po. Good Hello po, Senator. Thank you very much. Uh, rest assured, thank you very much, uh, Sir Ben, sa mga um, support na bilang uh, former chair of the this committee and, of course, a member of Congress representing the party uh, or the advocacy of cooperatives. Maraming salamat po for joining us today. Malaking bagay po ang inyong inputs na binibigay. And, of course, um, to our colleagues, rest assured that we will be asking the financial institutions. Punot dulo nito, wala sila loan. So, definitely... Uh, kakausapin natin yung land bank, nandiyan yung land bank, nandiyan yung DBP. And we have maybe a possible third player, which is the Small Business Corporation. We will also talk to them later. Uh, mas madali yung requirements sa Small Business Corporation at uh, kausapin natin sila. So let's start muna with our uh, uh, participants Mr. here. Mr. Chair, sorry, huli na lang po. Yes, yes ma'am, Risa, go ahead. Briefly lang, uh, Mr. Chair, salamat po. Before we move, no, I'd just like to be clarified po pag... Uh, nagsalita na nga po yung ating mga transport co-op uh, leaders. Pa-clarify din lang po kung tama ba na kapag walang LPTRP, mahihirapan sila, mahihirapan kayo na makabiyahe sa mga ruta na dati na ninyong ruta. I'm asking this uh, of our uh, transport service co-op leaders, Mr. Chair, kasi uh, I felt the need for DBP, dahil yan yung premier government financial institution natin, na sana ma-recognize ng DBP yung uh, privilege already granted to our transport co-ops sa ilalim nga po ng Philippine Co-op Code. So yun, Mr. Chair, padagdag lang po sana sa uh, uh, sasabihin sa atin ng ating mga transport co-op leaders. Salamat kayo, Mr. Chair. Sige, because we're going to start with the transport lead, different transport co-ops so that we can ask them, we can interject, Ma'am Risa, no, and compress with your colleagues, you can interject. So now let's like call uh, the Baghari Transport Cooperative. Sino po representative ng Baghari Transport Cooperative? Yes, good morning, Mr. Chair. Ako po si... Sige, five minutes lang po kasi marami po kayo. So uh, can you go straight to the point? Sige po. Regarding lang doon po sa LPTRP, totoo po yun na kapag uh, wala kang LPTRP release, definitely hindi ka maka-approve, hindi ka magbibigyan ng loan. Kaya lang po sa isang banda kasi, sa katatayuan natin ngayon dahil pandemic, eh, naging ano rin po yung safeguard ng ibang kooperatiba na hindi pa naririlisan. Bakit po? Kasi as ako po ngayon, RCO and SAW, dito sa Mimaropa na opisyales, yung lahat po ng problema na hindi pa na release na unit, ang ina-advise nga po namin, eh, magandang parte muna ngayon yan. Dahil pag na-release po yung unit, automatic po, may ilang buwan lang siya na hindi magbabayad muna, And then, mag, after po nung binigay na certain period, magbabayad na po kayo ng amortization. E napakahira po ngayong kitain niyan kung wala nga po yung service contracting na isinagawa, na binigyan nyo, pinahintulutan nyo ng mga senator, e may hirapan po kami lalo. Dahil yung number po ng pasahero, hindi namin makuha talaga. Unang-una, doon po sa mga lockdown, nandito po ako sa Oriental Mindoro, Madam Chair and uh, Sir Chair. So, ang hirap po nang lagay namin dito dahil nga po iilan lang yung pasahero. So, buti nga po nagkaroon ng service contracting na libreng sakay na nakatutulong sa amin ngayon para makapaghulog kami. Ang punto ko lang po, sana makonsidera din na tama lang yung pagpapa, parang niluluto muna for the meantime na tama lang yun na hindi muna na i-release kasi baka po pag na-release, eh maging ano lang po yun, Maging dahilan din yon para hindi agad kayo makapagbayad sa bangko. Hindi po sa natutuwa kami dahil hindi na i-release. Definitely, yung mga kasama po namin sa primarya dahil kami po yung nagkikater eh. Sa ngayon po, natakbo kami ng libreng sakay. So nararamdaman po namin talaga yung hirap. Yung libreng sakay nga po sa ngayon, libre na, iilan-ilan pa rin ang pasahero natin. Hindi po natin makuha talaga yung tama. Natanless po dyan sa Manila. So yun po ang isang kagandahan naman sa hindi pa rin agad na rilisan. Maghintay lang po tayo dahil nasa tamang timing po lagi yun eh. So definitely, doon po sa paghihintay, baka po naman dumating yung puntong uh, lumuwag na ng konte at pwede na talagang magkaroon yung eskwela ng face-to-face -face dahil uh, sa PUJ po o JIP, ang uh, basically po na pinuprovide natin yung pong mga mananakay na Uh, nag-aaral, nagtatrabaho. Since dahil nga po may mga lockdown, 
eh hindi naman po talaga natin makikater talaga. Makukuha yung number noong mananakay. kay kaya hindi po natin kikitain kaagad-agad yung ating ipang-amortize doon sa ating mga unit. Doon naman po sa LPTRP, kung maaari lang po, Mr. Chair, idagdag ko lang po. Kasi po yung bumubuo ng uh, OFG na yan, doon sa 2017 ta 011 po yan, eh, kasama po ang uh, LGU, Provincial Government, and the Transport Government. Sana po, sir, bukod po doon sa ilalagay na ng CDOs, eh, sana po magkaroon din po ng uh, mga representative doon sa mismong transport. Para katulad po nung narinig ko kanina, hindi nga po maluluto noong nandoon lang sa LGU. Kasi katot katotohanan po, uh, ito po yung uh, totoong nangyayari dito sa grassroots na level natin. Na kapag hindi ka po talaga kaisa noong sa pamunuan LGU, talaga maalis ka doon sa ruta mo na. So yung po ang masakit doon, eh, katulad po ng sinabi nyo, ang uh, pamahalaan naman sa mga sa ngayon ay eh, talagang nagkikiter po siya. Tumutuwang po siya doon sa tamang uh, proseso kung tama ang mga dokumento. Dangan nga lang po dahil uh, kapag may uh, hindi naman kagustuhan din ng LGU at ang provincial government, although may naipasa na po yung LPTRP, eh nagiging hadlang din po 'yan dahil hindi po sa inyo may award 'yan. At isa pa pong karagdagan kung pahihintulutan, sir. Doon po kasi sa mga natapos na LPTRP, katulad po dito sa lagay namin sa Oriental Mindoro, eh may nakita po talaga kami dahil hindi naman po kami kasama nung binuo yan, eh sobrang bilang po ng unit na pangangailangan. Parang halimbawa po, meron po ditong ruta na ang nakalagay sa unit, eh 26 units of modern PUJ, which is highly and definitely hindi hindi po kikita. Bakit po namin nasabi, eh, Rumuruta na po kami doon eh. Yun nga pong apat na unit namin ng modern jeep, hindi ko mikita doon. Yun pa po kaya 26. So yun po sana, kaya nire-request po namin sana kahit pa paano, mapag-aralan muli nila yung ipinasan nila. Hindi naman po ito sa pagtira o kung pag anuman, doon sa pamunuan, kundi nandun po tayo sa katotohanan na sumusunod po kami as stakeholder As sa management, sumusunod po kami. Napakahirap po sa party kasi namin ipaliwanag sa driver na pasensya ka na, wala tayong kita ngayon, wala kayong sasawari, wala kayong sasweldo. Eh. Dahil kulang pa sa panggas. Dahil itong inilabas na number of na LPTRP ng gobernador o no, kung sino man. Hindi po kasi kami magtuturo ng ganun dahil pangit po. So ang tayo po namin, definitely lalagyan natin. Sige may pagkukulang, sige may mali. Ire-raise po natin sa tamang authority. So yun po ang napakabigat kasi sa amin. Hindi kami pwedeng magturon. Amali nila yan. Amali ng ganito yan. Hindi po. Kasi wala na po maniniwala sa amin pag ganyan. E kitang kita naman po na may alam naman ng tao na talaga hindi naman talaga sobra talaga yung nilagay na number ng units. Paano kikita yan? Anong gagawin natin? So yun po yung mga yung sa akin po na personal na sa mga kasama na sinasabi Point na... Point na po natin para mabigyan natin ng pagkakataon yung iba. Go ahead po. Go ahead po. Yun na lang po for the meantime, Senator. Maraming po salamat at pasensya na po. Pasensya na po. Okay, maraming salamat sa inputs nyo. Tuloy natin po yung listahan ang uh, nakalagay po dito, Lagaw Transport Cooperatives, after which will be Roads Transport Cooperatives at ipa pang cooperative. So, Lagaw Transport Cooperative, you are recognized po. Mayong buntag, Mr. Chair, o sa akong mga kauban sa transport. Uh, sa General Santos po, Mr. Chair, invited ka sa itong National Federation Transport Congress dito sa Jensan. Pero October so, na? Pero October. Yes, 29 o 30. Oh, kita tapuhon. <laughs> sige, sige. <laughs> ang Jensan po, ang pilot city for the LPTRP, for your information, uh, medyo madugo din. Tama yung sinabi nyo kanina, madugo yung paggawa ng LPTRP kasi Uh, ang Jensan, available na yung mga data dahil merong funding ang, ang uh, LCP no? uh, under World Bank dahil uh, nagkaroon ng transport management plan ang Jensan. So ready na po si Jensan for LPTRP. Ang nangyari sa Jensan, yung Committee on Transportation, yung konsihal na humahawak sa Committee ba ng Transportasyon, siya ang ayaw na ipasa ang LPTRP. So ang ginawa namin, kami mga transport uh, co-ops, nag kami, nag kami. 
sa harap ng sanggunian para ipasa ang LPTRP. Kaya madugo po ang paggawa ng LPTRP. Minsan nga, tama yung sinabi ni Attorney Sonia, Sonia Karina, na before the creation of the LPTRP, si LTFRB nagkakandak po ng capacity building para sa LGU how to craft the LPTRP. Unfortunately, dito po sa Region 12, mangilan-ngilan lang na LGU ang sumali o sumama sa capacity building. Maraming absent. So, mas mabuti nga sana nandito si DILG. So, with that, walang magawang LPTRP dahil walang alam paano gawin ang LPTRP. So, ang natatamaan si Transport Co-op kasi yan yung susi niya para makautang doon sa bangko. Now, ang, ang, ang problema natin ngayon dahil na-politicize. Meron akong hawak ngayon, Mr. Chair, dito sa kopya ng Department Order number 2017-011. Ito po yung pag Omnibus Franchising, Guide, uh, Omnibus Franchising Guidelines. Doon sa page 13, uh, yung approval process of LPTRP. Babasahin ko po, baka ito'y pwede nating kilain na maging susi para magkaroon ng LPTRP. Dito po sa 3.2.4. Kasi sa itaas nito, gagawa si LGU ng LPTRP. Now, in case the LGU is not ready to take on the responsibility for public transport route planning in its domain or if an approved LPTRP for the city or municipality is not yet available, the department or the OTR can determine the routes and services for which franchises shall be issued by the LTFRB. So pwede pala si DOTR, Mr. Chair, nung nangyari po na hindi, ina, hindi ipapa-approve ng Committee on Transportation yung LPTRP namin sa Jensen, ito yung pinanghahawakan namin na basihan na pwedeng gumawa si DOTR through LTFRB ng mga rota sa aming lugar na nasasakupan. Doon din sa mga lugar na wala pang LPTRP, pwede po si DOTR kung hindi man natin hindi man natin mapilit gumawa si LGU kasi malaking usapin po ito kasi when it talks around uh, papasok sa ibang municipality it will be the provincial government who will craft the L LPTRP mabuti sa Jensen intracity kami so si si LGU Jensen lang ang gagawa ng LPTRP pero provincial regionalized regional wide sa itaas na po yung gagawa ng LPTRP. Pero in the absence... Robert, uh, sandali ha, kasi ito yung magandang concern nito na dapat malaman ni Chairman Director General Belgica. Uh, yung binanggit po nila Director General uh, nung taga uh, Jensen uh, na ayaw daw ibigay, no? ayaw daw ilabas. Ay, Nag-rally na po daw sila dyan. Maybe we can ask a formal letter na sa grupo ninyo uh, or uh, well, this hearing can be a Considered as a yeah. complaint. Uh, yes, Robert, you're right. Kasi nandito na si Director General. Eh, para ma ano, na, ano bang gusto nating mag mangyari doon sa... Baka makatulong sila. Uh, ganito, sir. Na-approve na, na po yung LPTRP namin. Pero bago okay, na-approve na... Na-approve na. na, 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 na. Bago na-approve, nag-rally kami, nag-barcha kami. Uh, kinakot namin ang LGU na magpapayal kami ng mandamus case against them. ba? Diba? Kami si Sektor, kami yung apiktado sa modernization, pero yung konsihal na hindi apiktado kasi by private vehicle siya, siya pa yung ayaw ng LPTRP. So ganun po yung nangyayari. Pero uh, meron po tayong pwedeng kukunan ng, uh, ng proseso in case wala pong gagawin si LPTRP. Ito pong department order ni DOTR. Pwede po sila mismo ang gagawa ng ruta para tuloy-tuloy na po tayo. Na nahuhuli po tayo sa modernization. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Robert. Salamat. Mr. Uh, Chair? Yes, uh, DG? Sir, quickly, which I think, sir, thank you, Sir Robert. Mr. Chair, I think naglilinya po yung pananaw namin ni Sir Robert dito. Dahil, Mr. Chair, if the LGU is taking its sweet time or maybe its difficult time because of the pandemic to come up with this LTTF uh, PRB and 
uh, I, I would suppose, Mr. Chair, and pinapayagan na ho ng LTFRB kasi, Mr. Chair, for the uh, transport sector to go by their old routes, Mr. Chair. Uh, kasi pagka, una, sir, nag-agree ako kay, Mr. kay Sir Robert, pwede na hong siguro mag-takeover muna po yung, L yung LTFRB, DOTR dito, and gamitin muna yung old routes, Mr. Chair. Ang sinasabi ko dito, Mr. Chair, since ang bottom line natin dito, ho, yung, yung loan na kailangan maaprubahan, that, that, that old route can now be the basis for the issuance of, of a franchise instead of a PA, Mr. Chair. Kasi ho, yung sa mga banko kasi, very reluctant sila, Mr. Chair, pag PA po ang nakikita nila. So, yun, yun ho, Mr. Chair, pero again, Sir Robert, eh, uh, iimbitahan ho namin kayo bukas na bukas po and also yung mga kasama ho natin sa LTFRB on this. But that, Mr. Chair, is is uh, how we are seeing it as we are reading also right now the, the rules. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, DG. Maraming salamat. So next on the line is uh, uh, Road Transport Service Cooperative. And then after which you will have Dutra, Dutransco and Oro uh, and of course, Engineer, Man Engineer Manzano of the Copnatco, Dutranco, and Oro Transport Cooperative. So, Roads Transport Cooperative, please. Sino po ang tagapagsalita ng Roads Transport Cooperative? Wala siya. Uh, Mingle, we'll move forward. Kung wala yung Roads Transport Cooperative, Engineer Manzano of Copnatco, uh, sir, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator Migs, uh, for this uh, opportunity. Um, actually, uh, ito sana uh, kung na first uh, uh, concern ko, ito sana kung na-implementa sana ng CDA yung uh, provisions ng RA 9520 under uh, Article uh, 111 na there must be a uh, the authority should have a committee monitoring committee to uh, monitor the and uh, supervise itong mga development ng transport cooperative so sana that uh, composes of uh, uh, LTFRB LTO uh, itong uh, ibang government agencies involved dito di, nandiyan ang National Transport uh, Federation na bumubuo dyan na committee and it will be cascaded down to the uh, regional level uh, this is a uh, 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 wisdom of the uh, RA 9520 na kayo mismo uh, Mr. Chair ang nagcraft nito para matutukan sana itong matagal na na problema ng transport cooperative pero hindi man ito nag uh, it was not uh, implemented o kaya na implement man kaya lang uh, kaya lang uh, parang na stop for uh, uh, how many years already so kaya uh, this is one of in fact that that is one of our uh, uh, nasulat namin sa manifesto na dapat i-revive yun na that is already a law uh, provided for in R RA 9520. Another is, uh, uh, I ko Mr. Chair, uh, paabot ko itong concern ng Cebu City uh, kasi hindi sila nakapasok pero nakamonitor sila ngayon sa FB. Uh, ang concern nila is uh, aprobado naman doon sa sanggunayang panglungsod ng Cebu City. Kaya lang, itong LTFRB naman sa Cebu City, Region 7, na nasa text nila sa akin ngayon, sa Cebu Peoples, eh, hindi naman inonor yung, uh, uh, yung uh, LTFRB ng uh, Cebu City. Kaya nagka-problema din sila dyan. So I think the, yung monitoring committee will... Uh, we can handle this uh, kasi a joint uh, uh, it is, this is a joint uh, personalities from different agencies concerned uh, that is my uh, it, yun ang uh, ko, uh, concern ko uh, as uh, by the way 
Mr. Chair, I am speaking of, uh, in behalf of COPNATCO Party List as Chair of the Committee on Transport ng COPNATCO Party List. Panami salamat, Engineer. I will take note of that. Thank uh, you, Mr. Chair. We will revi we'll revi we'll revisit that, uh, those provisions of our cooperative code. Sige po, and we'll try to make it work uh, once again. So next in line is uh, Dutransco. Uh, you are recognized, Paul. Uh, hello. Good morning, Mr. Senator Mixiberry. Uh, sir, ang problema namin dito kasi dito kami sa Dumagiti Transport. Paano kami makakuha ng modern decision yun, sir? Kasi yung ruta namin, sir, hindi siya long distance. I think mga 5 to 6 kilometer more or less. So, ang kailangan naman, sir, paano kami makakuha ng modernization unit? Kasi yung sa ruta namin, mayroon kami competent ng mga pedicab. So, paano kami kukuha niyan? Kasi marami pang pedicab kayo sa amin. At, at saka yun ang problema namin, yung paano kami kumukuha? Hello? Ano po yun, ano po yun uh, Sir Jerry? Kasi medyo malapit uh, yung Okay. Well, good morning, uh, Ms. Senator Mixoberry. So, I'm from... May buntag. May buntag. May buntag, sir. May buntag. Dumagiti Transport Cooperative for the Transco. So, ang problema na mo sa mong rota, sir, how come kami nga maka-apply o modernization unit kaysa among rota, sir, dili may ka ng long... Long drive, among ruta doon lang, mga 4 kilometers or 5 or less. So, sa among ruta, sir, na may dagang kompetensya ng mga pedicab. So, sa ano, pag-abil sa modernisyon kay tungod, ang first number one yung, kung sir, ang, ang among manting, abil na ko kayo, so di lang may maka-afford na ugbay, kita ko rin makikita, tag-2 million man. So, kasi mayo na mo nung buhato ng buhana, sir. So, ato na ang ato na pangutana ang LTFRB or ang uh, um, L, uh, yes, ang LTFRB ana. Uh, ma'am, uh, uh, ma'am, do you understand what he was saying in, in, in Mantina? Ang sabi niya, you're requiring them to modernize, pero yung short route lang naman po sila between 1 to 4 kilometers, eh, kalaban nila ay tricycad, mga pedicab. Pedicab. Which unfortunately dumaget. <laughs> In other parts of Mindanao and the Visayas is very well known for. They don't want to to uh, veer away from that. I Minsan mean, nakikita nga natin yung mga yan sa National Highway na bawal. Kaya ano pong uh, kawawa naman sila, paano naman sila mag-modernize? They'll spend 10 times what the pedicab driver would be spending. Hindi ko naman minamalit din yung pedicab because they service a function also no, for shorter routes. Pero tama naman yung punto ni Sir Jerry. Uh, may we get a uh, response from the LTFRB? Ma'am, Dina, go ahead. Sir, uh, sir na nasab-10 itong iyahang point kan siya, ganina, sir. And, sir, Ay, you... Ay, uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Apo. Yes, yeah, sir, na, na we we understand the sentiment po, sir, no? And we understand also, sir, di ba, di ba during our, ano po, dun sa mga orientations po natin with the transport groups, Pagka yung mga short distances naman po at depende po sa road condition or yung, yung yun nga, tama, yung sa road condition, there are various uh, modes po or kinds of vehicles na pwede natin i-adapt. Like for example, if it's just 4 to 5 kilometers, meron po tayong kinatawag na class 1. Yung medyo maliit po na na type ng PUJ. But what I understand is, yung pinaka-concern ni sir, and and is even echoed, I think, no, by all the other transport groups, ay ito pong kakompetensya po natin na mga, ano po, yung mga pedicabs na they are plying even the national highway po. At yun yes. yung okay. lagi po namin pinapakiusap doon sa DILG kasi meron naman po tayong road clearing and even the LTO po na maging ano po dun sa enforcement po sana dahil bawal naman po based sa DILG Memorandum Circular Bawal po talaga ang mga pedicab po sa National Highway po. Perhaps, sir, it's just a matter of uh, enforcement po ng DILG po under memorandum circulars and the political will also of the LGUs to implement 
the memorandum circulars of the of the DIL <coughs> this. This is not just in one area po, sir, na naririnig natin po, hindi lang po sa Dumaguete, even po sa Mindanao, sir, sa Caraga region, yun din po yung pinapaabot namin sa sa DILG po ng mga problema because um, as you know, yung ating mga LGU minsan mas pinapanigan po yung mga pedicab dahil mas sadyang mas madami po yung mga na-issuehan nila because the franchises of pedicabs and tricycles are within the mandate of the LGU. So ang ating pakiusap lang po sa ating mga transport cooperatives po na apektado nito, let's write the ano po, let's write the DILG on this na uh, marinig din yun ng DILG yung ating hinaing na na and reports po the complete with photo documentation din po siguro na na ano po na they are still flying no yung mga tricycles and pedicabs even on the national highways at sir in addition po dun sa sinasabi ko ito po yung kung bakit po natin binababa sa LGU po yung paggagawa ng transport route plan kasi uh, dapat po uh, sila po yung nag, nagtatalaga kung para saan, sa, sa ang parte ng ruta, dapat yung mga tricycle at mga pedicab at kung saan po yung higher forms of uh, higher forms of transportation like yung mga PUJ po. Yan po sana yung kaayusan na hinahanap po natin sa isang maayos yung, yung, yung sa isang route plan po ng LGU. But in the meantime po sir, uh, nakikiisa po ang LTFRB at lagi naman po kami nakikipag-dialogo din sa DILG. In our next meeting po, ipapaabot po natin itong concern na ito na sana after so many ano po, uh, complaints from the from the transport sector ay matugunan na finally ng ating LGUs at ng ating DILG yung problema po ng ating transport sector vis-a-vis -vis po doon sa kukompetensya sa daan na bawal naman po sana sa daan po. Sige ma'am okay. Pina, let's Thank recognize uh, the DIA. Sige, salamat, uh, dagan salamat Jerry, no? Ato na po. Sige, salamat po kayo sir. Mangunta na takaroon sa DILG, no? Uh, is the DILG online now? Because we have a lot of queries for the DILG. Uh, who is our representative for DILG, ma'am Jinga? Jinga? Sir, uh, project officer... Uh, again, is there... Ryan Salubia. Okay, uh, Ryan, are you online? The ILG, are you there? The DILG? Yes, good morning, Senator Sabiri. Hi, good morning, Ryan. Please open your uh, video. Di po kayo makita. <clears throat> Ryan? Yes, good morning, Paul. Good morning, Paul. Yeah, hi, Ryan. Um, what's your designation sa DILG, Project Officer in Charge of... Uh, what is your designation? I'm under Jose Cachaveri, po, sir. Okay. I ikaw pa in charge dito sa mga problema ng uh, ating mga transport cops? May pinaparatay lang po kasi sa amin na may, meron na po memorandum na ginawa si ASEC Kalakat at ASEC Pasaraba. Sila yung concerned sa sa cooperatives. Nag-draft na po sila ng memo. Actually, for the signature na lang po ni Secretary Anyo yung memorandum. We can send you a copy po of the draft memor memorandum for the cooperatives po. Yes, uh, uh, Ryan, no? um, kasi medyo mabibigat ang mga paratang, mabibigat po yung mga issues dito ng ating mga transport cooperatives. It would be good if we had an ASIC or a USEC to assist you there. Para makita din na yung concerns namin. Anyway, it's budget hearing. And definitely me and Risa, our Senator uh, Oteveros, will take it up no, during the budget hearing, this problem. Or we can also call for another hearing of the JCOCC to address this particular issue. Medyo nakikita na po namin yung konting linaw dito sa problema ito. That it's really the local governments that are... Uh, would, I would say, giving him a hard time no, on the LPTRP kasi manggagaling pala to sa LGU. Eh. So, napakabigat nitong mga requirement na ito. So, um, ano po yung copy ng memorandum? Ano po yung laman ng memorandum, uh, Ryan? Maybe you can give us the gist of that memorandum. Actually po, nakatagalog po siya kasi po buong September, Filipino po ang lingwahe na ang gagamitin. Nandito, Ito po yung mga... 
maski na Bisaya po ako, makaintindi po ako ng Tagalog. <laughs> Basta pa nakalagay lang dito yung mga requirements po ng pagtatalaga ng Cooperative Development Officer na gagawin na siyang mandatory sa municipal, city, at provincial level po. Ah, quite sandali lang, Sir Ryan. No? I think uh, ibang topic yan. I will be taking that up later, itong issue ng Cooperative Development Officer. Pero itong issue lang ng pagbibigay po ng LPTRP. Uh, if you were listening earlier, this is the Local Public Transport Route Plan na requirement po yan ng LTFRB at uh, ng, at ng uh, uh, DBP at Land Bank, ito financial institutions, na manggagaling po sa LGUs. So ang nangyayari po, hindi po na ibibigay ng lahat ng LGUs itong tinatawag na LTPRT at dahil po dyan, nabibinbin po napakarami mga kooperatiba sa kanilang modernization plan. So maybe in the next hearing, um, uh, Ma'am Jingle, our COMSEC, we have to make sure that we invite a representative of uh, Secretary Anyo. Hindi naman kasalanan ni si, uh, Sir Ryan yan. Baka ibang topic na ibigay sa kanila. So, yun na. Baka pwede mong pasabi, uh, Sir Ryan. Yes, so, sir. Please tell, uh, please tell uh, Yusek Echeveri. Um, okay, hindi naman naman yan. Yeah, oh, sir. Oh, sir. Pasabi na lang siya, ito yung problema natin. Can you please let him know? We may have to call for another meeting on this para ma-resolve natin itong problema. And uh, please let him know the problem of this uh, uh, issuance, the non-issuance, or the delay of the issuance of the LPTRP, the Local Public Transport Route Plan by the LGUs, which is hampering our modernization program of the transport cooperatives. Okay, sir? Julie Lauten po, Senator Zubiri. Thank you po. Sige, huwag kayo mawala kasi pag-usapan din natin after this yung ating uh, co-op officers. Kasi yung uh, CD, tama yan, yung mga CDO na yan, Cooperative Development Officers, ang tututok sa ating mga application sa local government. So we need them also. Tama yung pinoint out kanina ni, ni Chairman Press. So moving forward, uh, I'm done with Dutransco. May we now recognize uh, Oro Transport Service Cooperatives. Uh, ito po yung listahan para ito po yung list sir bago po kayo mag ano uh, mag-knowledge ito po yung listahan after Oro Transport Service Cooperatives there's the MS MSU IIT and uh, Sir Sam Abelio of uh, also in the uh, recognized so unahin po natin Oro Transport Cooperatives yes sir I'm Sam Samuel Abelio sir sa Oro Transport ah, okay okay good good kasi nak nakikita ko lang po yung, yung pangalan so Let's recognize Sir Sam. Okay, sir. Go ahead, Paul. Uh, maybe we should ask DBP why they all of a sudden required LPTRP. Kasi sa tingin ko may rason sila. But before that, Senator, uh, Robert Kang failed to mention sa joint memorandum circular na BILG at saka DOTR, pag uh, may penal clause kung ang BIL... Uh, Local government will not come up with the LPTRP. So, wala pa. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa kaming narinig na LGO na ilatigo. Pero ang mga transport, pag may traffic infraction, multa ka agad. And maybe, maybe, Senator, kung if the DBP uh, uh, may explain why they are asking for the LPTRP maybe uh, because it will take a long time for for the LPTRP to be finalized. Maybe we should come up with a compromise. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sir Sam. Actually, we are about to ask the DBP and Land Bank after the comments of all our transport cooperatives. So, papunta po tayo dyan, Sir Sam. We're leading towards that uh, direction. Uh, we'd like to also recognize, uh, tabusin ko lang itong listahan para makasalita na sila. Uh, MSU, IIT, uh, you have a few minutes. Uh, uh, Sen, uh, uh, thank you once again. Pero ay, nakasalita na ako kanina, uh, Sen, uh, okay. Chairman, uh, thank you. Salamat, nakasalita salamat. na po. Uh, thank you. And then, uh, 
Taga Tabaco Legaspi, yung kooperatiba natin dito, nakalagay lang Tabaco Legaspi. Ano po yung pangalan na inyong kooperatiba? Ah, Tabaco Legaspi TSC, okay. Uh, you are now recognized. Tabaco Legaspi TS Transport. Si Sir Alex? Are you there, Sir Alex? Kung wala po, baka nagutom na. Lahat po tayo nagugutom na. <laughs> okay, let us now proceed to the meat of the matter and ask uh, our uh, financial institutions. Uh, we will start first with uh, the Development Bank of the Philippines. May we hear? Ah, yes, uh, yes, sir, sa Dutransco. Ay, natawagan na ba po namin Dutransco? Wala pa. Uh, yeah, sir, uh, good. Ba na, di ba? Good yes, morning. Yes. Uh, good morning, uh, sir. Senator, good morning, uh, good noon, uh, good afternoon. Uh, we're from Dumingag Transport Cooperative, Dumingag, Sambuanga del Sur. Actually, this is also the Transco. Uh, oh, okay. Now, another group. Oh, sige. Same name. Yes, yes, sir. Oh, please. Uh, oh, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon po, uh, Senator Risa, Ma'am Risa. Good afternoon. Uh, Kong Presley, good afternoon, sir. Uh, to everyone, good afternoon. Uh, Amo ang concern ani uh, Senator sa Dumingag Transport Cooperative. Uh, Itong Amo ang Class 2. Actually, we have launched already our uh, PUVMP Class 3 last August. And then, nagka-problema mi diri sa among Class 2. Actually, kani Amo ang unit diri sa Dutransco sa Dumingag sa Buanga del Sur. Uh, Na-acquire namin ito uh, talagang pinaghirapan ng kuan ng transport co-op because uh, ang kuan kasi ang agency kasi natin nagre-require yung LTFRB tapos may mga may mga kuan sila may mga binibigay na mga parang may mga timelines so napipilitan kami talagang kumuha for the meantime just to satisfy the requirements para maka makapag-launch kami so ang nangyayari, walang problema sa PUBMP Class 3 namin. Ang problema namin doon sa PUBMP uh, Class 2. Because sa uh, PUBMP Class 2, yung route namin from Dumingag to Mulabi, in which the distance is 19.9, in which uh, talagang qualified, I, I don't think kasi kung qualified ba, pero sa tingin ko, sa nababasa namin sa circular ng LTFRB, parang UB Class 2 siya. Pero may MC na lumalabas na PUBMP Class 1 siya. Nabili na namin yung unit. Tapos nagbabayad na kami. Yan yung problema namin. Kasi hindi daw pwede. Kasi magkuan pa daw sila sa, kuan, sa LTFRB. mag inquire pa daw. Parang may mga revisions pa. And then hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin, uh, wala pa rin result. And then yung unit namin, mga 2 months na na, na, kuan, na, na nakuha namin. So, yan lang yung concern namin. So, nagpapasalamat kami in behalf of the Transco na nabigyan kami ng, pagpa, ng pagkakataon na makapag-talk uh, dito uh, together with the LTFRB. So, sana naman matulungan kami sa LTFRB. And we, we coordinated with LTFRB 9, but accordingly, they have submitted uh, documents already na kasi parang clerical error lang daw yun kasi talagang ang 19.9 na kilometers is intended for PUB class 2. In which, yung bus namin na nabili na class, class 2 din. Kaso lang, may MC na pinalabas na ang route is for PUB class 1. In which, accordingly, parang clerical error lang daw yun. So, ang gusto namin, sana mag, ma, magawa ng papeles para kuan siya, tatakbo siya na legal. So, yan lang yung concern namin sa LTFRB. So, again, uh, yan lang yung concern namin. Uh, the Transco, the Dumingag Transport Cooperative, uh, Dumingag, Sambuanga del Sur, uh, in one kami sa mga transport cooperatives as to the loans kasi nag-a-apply din kami. Pero, mas magan pero kami sa amin, sa side namin, medyo maganda-ganda ng konti kasi mayroong positive feedback from Loan Bank of the Philippines. So, uh, okay lang kami. Ang concern lang namin yung class 2 namin. Na sana naman kung maari, mabigyan ng kahit SP lang or kwan para proper yung, uh, yung pagtakbo niya with papers talaga. So, again, thank you very much for the opportunity, uh, Senator Migsubiri, Senator Risa Antiveros, and Congressman Presley. 
And I would like to extend also our thanks to our Region 9 OTC. No, OTC namin Region 9, very support supportive. At saka yung CDA namin Region 9, very supportive. Marami pong salamat. That's good Sir, to hear. Thank you very much, Paul. May I respond to that? Yes, Ma'am Tina, please go ahead. Uh, sir, sa, for the transco po na query, I already chatted you, sir, and gave my number so that after this, can we talk so we can proper, properly address your your concern po? Kasi I believe it's for Region 9, but perhaps dito po sa central office, if uh, maano po natin kung ano yung mas mapalaliman po natin, uh, we can address that concern po. Please call the num through the number that I uh, chatted po, sir. Yeah, pwede mo i-PM na lang, Tina. You can uh, give a private yes, message. Yes, sir. I did po, sir, doon sa chat box natin dito sa ano po, meeting. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am Risa, you Thank wanted this? Yes, please go up, ma'am Risa. Yes, salamat kayo, Mr. Chairman. Pasensya, Mr. Chair and Co-Chair Presley, mga kasama, mga kauban. Kailangan kong mauna ng mga 12.30 for a 1.30 uh, schedule. Pero before I leave, Mr. Chair, if I may very briefly lang, Para lang, going back lang to earlier points raised, reiterating po yung implementation ng Article 111 o yung Committee for Monitoring of Transport Service Cooperatives. I hope po, Mr. Chair, na yung CDA would take the lead in convening it again at uh, hingiin yung tulong ng DILG para i-establish din yon at the local level din. And uh, also, Mr. Chair, I thank the CDA. Salamat po, salamat din sa DILG for convening the TWG together po with Ma'am Celia ng Liga ng Mga Cooperative Development Officers ng Pilipinas. Together din kay Ma'am Lucy ng National Co-ops Development Council, yung TWG po to jumpstart the implementation of the local co-op development officers law. And finally po, Mr. Chair, uh, nagpapasalamat po ako kay Secretary of Interior and Local Government Anyo for instructing all LGUs to implement the law. And I hope that the ILG and CDA, together with the co-op leaders, will continue assisting LGUs in creating and reinforcing the CDOs and building LGU capacities uh, towards this end. So, daghang salamat, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, okay, uh, Co-Chair Presley, mamaya konti mag-French uh, leave na lang po ako. Dagan salamat, marami salamat po sa lahat ng mga kasama. Asahan niyo po sa, sa pamumuno ni Chair Migs sa Senate contingent po namin dito sa uh, JCOCC. Uh, itutuloy po namin ang pakikipagtrabaho at uh, suporta sa inyo. Salamat po, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Ma'am Risa. Maraming maraming salamat po. And uh, thank you for your support. And during the budget deliberations, you can rest assured that Senator Risa will be with me in the agencies. Pag-usapan namin yung mga budget support sa kanila. Or uh, ano, uh, kung pinapahirapan kayo, eh di pahirapan din namin yung budget. <laughs> and siya, alam naman na ni Sen Risa yan. So do not worry. So moving forward, let us uh, now talk to the uh, uh, agencies concerned. Uh, the financial institutions. We'll start off with DBP. I see with us today uh, sa DBP side, sino po ang gustong um, mapakinggan? Sir, Sir Rusty? Rusty Rusty ko ba? Rusty po ang inyong nickname? Noli lang lang po, uh, Senator. Okay. okay. Sir Noli, please, you're recognized. Thank you po. Yeah, thank you for uh, recognizing DBP. No? And I heard uh, Previously, the issue about LPTRP and the TPP is no longer extending loan without the LPTRP. And, uh, I would like to confirm that information. And uh, it was also mentioned a while ago about the uh, uh, the the OTR Department Order 2017-011, and it's very clear there that the minimum prescribed requirement for them for the transport no to uh, get the franchise is the LPTRP. Now, previously, uh, the provisional authority uh, is the requirement of DBP. However, as we note, you know, uh, Mr. Chair, the, the issue that, uh, uh, that, uh, that the bank is having right now is the increasing past due level of uh, the transport uh, sector, no? and uh, including of these uh, transport cooperatives. 
Why? Because number one, we have experienced in the past, no, uh, the issue of having a provisional authority, and uh, later on, the LGU would interfere and highlighting that there is no approved LPTRP yet. So we have two instances where we had a problem with the cooperative, uh, and they are saying that uh, the LGU is not allowing them to pass by uh, this uh, certain sec section of uh, the road, the route, no, uh, because the L the LGU is uh, yeah the LGU is not allowing them to pass by that route. Uh, I think one exa good example is the Senate Transport, sir, where uh, you know previously they are operating about 15 where we funded them. And later on, the because of the rationalization and uh, the buses were already allowed, and it affected their the viability of the route. There are also instances where uh, after buses was uh, already preferred, uh, suddenly uh, the cooperative will be uh, instructed, no, not uh, no longer to allowed to pass the certain routes, and therefore rendering their project. Unviable. So what the DBP thought is that the LP therapy is really that critical because it determines uh, the uh, the the route, no, and the number of the units that can be allowed uh, to apply the route specific to that area. So Nilo, one second, uh, Nilo. Uh, yes. Nilo, no, or Noli? Nilo. Noli, Noli. Ah, Noli. Yeah, Noli. One second. May we just uh, again? It boils down to the. LTFRB, because they're the ones giving the franchise routes. So uh, I just want to take that point because it's a very important point before I forget my train of thought. Yung problema ng ganon na mantina, obviously the bank, the financial institution, ay din yung malugi. Dahil siyempre kung malugi yung kooperatiba, hindi makabayad ng loan, malugi naman yung banko. So uh, we also have to make sure that uh, the routes are respected. Hindi po nagkaka-overlap. Nasa inyo ba yan? Nasa opisina ba ninyo yan, Ma'am Tina, na hindi magkakaroon ng problema ng ganyan, na overlapping? Actually, sir, meron sa LTFRB and DOTR, sir. May study, pag gumagawa po kasi tayo ng study, sir, meron tayong parameters na ginagamit po. Nakasama po dyan yung mga uh, overlapping po na, na, na issues. Kaya po, nagkakaroon tayo ng... Uh, Determination po kung may 100%, bawal po pag may 100% overlapping na po. Ang, ang, kaya nga po may mga, uh, what I'm saying is may parameters po tayo to avoid that naman po. And yung sinasabi po sir na stability po ng PA po, ganito lang naman po kasi yan sir. Magiging uh, ano po kasi yung, uh, after po ng PA, kapag kagrinan po ng DBP na mag, maging modern pa, uh, makapag-loan po sila ng mga modern units po, meron pong MC ang LTFRB po na pwede na ang PA ay maging CPC na or kumbaga uh, yung, yung franchise na po talaga if they meet the 15 na uh, minimum requirement po. So there is no worry po sana na yung PA ay hindi po stable na, na authority. That is an authority in itself po. And then, if they can meet already the qualification, there's no, ano, for, for maga kung tulungan sana ni, ni DBP na makapag-loan through the, through the PA po, magiging CPC naman po yan, and there's stability naman po. And there are mechanisms po, doon sa sinasabi natin, di po ba, sir, na uh, doon sa, sa route planning nat, natin, ang hindi lang naman ang hindi lang po talaga within the control of LTFRB and DA and, and uh, the OTR is yung political intervention po kapag ka hindi pinahintulot po ni ni ibawa ni LGU yung isang kontrapartido na na transport cooperative na dumaan dun sa ruta yun po ang hindi po nagiging na hindi na po saklaw ni LTFRB at DOTR kaya doon po tayo makikiano na po kay DILG na meron pong mechanisms na pagbabawalan naman po at respetuhin yung mga ruta na nabuo po. Opo. Mr. Chair, if I may uh, yes, yes. Opo. Yan nga po precisely the point na why we are ano no requiring the LPTRP because the LPTRP is being approved by uh, well there is a sanggunian resolution to be issued and to be approved by LTFRB. So, kung wala po talagang LPTRP, tentative po talaga yung route natin. And therefore, even if, no, yung mayroon tayong provisional authority, uh, 
you cannot just issue a baby certificate of public convenience later on if there is a resistance from the LGU. Now, ano po yung magiging repercussion? Therefore, hindi nyo na po siya i-allow sa route na yon. If, if that would be the case, then magiging unviable na po sa kanila to operate. So that's the thing po yung ating inano na kasi nangyayari po na una po yung ating pagfinance bago do sa plano para do sa ruta na yon. So dapat to plano muna bago pagfinance talaga ng mga projects po. At the same time po ganito po no. Uh, kami po very supportive po kami per per, per PUBMP. Ang total approval po namin nasa almost 7 billion na po uh, 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 Mr. Chair no just to ano lang not to brag about it but just to uh, state the sincere support of the development bank of the Philippines it's just that it's to, uh, it's ano po eh uh, para pong it takes two to tango po no and we're also protecting the the cooperative here na so to ensure na magiging viable po can I, can you can we just clarify the seven billion was the money allotted to uh, the loan program or seven billion was already released? Uh, approved po ang total po naming disbursement is already at three billion po. Okay, so three billion palang ang totally in release nyo pa. Palang. Yes po. Ang total po sa program na nakaalokate is ten billion po. Okay. And that that fund was uh, given by that was uh, was that an allocation of Congress to DBP or was that an allocation made by DBP for on its own for the program made by made by DBP on its own po. Okay, Mr. Chair. Right. So go ahead, go ahead po. Yeah, pero na yun ang yare, so Lori. Kung nakikinig ka kanina pa, we were discussing the preferred problems. May mga political considerations kasi na napakahirap as you heard sa Jensen, uh, si Sir Robert, na talaga nag pa sila para ma-release yung kanilang root plan. Um, I mean, it's a chicken or the egg scenario. Eh. How can they how can they modernize? We all want them to modernize. We insist that they modernize but they cannot modernize because wala naman sila pang modernize, wala sila pang bayad ng panibagong jeepney dahil hindi may lalabas yung loan uh, component dahil yung loan component ang requirement is a document which is a very difficult document to to uh, to uh, uh, release which is basically an ordinance by the local government unit so ang ang ang, ang gulo di ba do you see our point uh, uh, sir noli no baka naman the bank uh, and i'll ask that also to the land bank no after you speak i'll, I'll also ask the land bank you know, it is really our mandate to really help our, our different sectors that are helping our country move forward. The transport sector is one. In the absence of the transport sector, wala tayong mobility. Hindi po tayo, katulad ng European Union, na countries na meron po tayo mga uh, metro, subway system that goes everywhere. In these routes, we really have to rely on our transport cooperatives. It's a, not only do we have to rely on them, we have to keep them alive and uh, viable kasi kawawa naman po itong mga drivers at operators na ito so parang ano na to eh parang uh, uh, servisyo na ng gobyerno to para sa kanila and being a government financial institution uh, I don't naman expect na government financial institutions ay kikita na katulad ng Metro Bank and uh, uh, ano ba yung kay mga C uh, BDO di ba na sobrang yaman dahil yan talaga negosyo nila yung maman eh yung negosyo ng ating uh, government financial institutions is to help these industries, of course, uh, uh, grow, but at the same time that the financial institutions remain viable. Baka naman, uh, you can soften the requirements. No? We can talk to the, we can appeal that the JCOCC can write a formal uh, resolution, approve a formal resolution, asking the DBP and the Land Bank to soften up the requirements on the LP, LPTRP and just allow the provisional authorities or the authorities given by the LTFRB as enough, uh, as uh, documentation enough. Kasi nabigyan na sila ng ruta niyan eh. Binigyan na sila ng authority to, to, to apply the routes. So pwede na po dapat yan, uh, Sir Nilo. Yeah, Mr. Chair, if I may po. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, actually po yung LPTRP is not a requirement ng DBP po, no? It's the requirement of DOTR 2017-11 po. So we're just following really the guidelines set by the OTR po. Sir, can can I comment? Yes, on yes, that? please, yes, please. Uh, 
sir, as kanina po, uh, we've already explained that even with the LPTRP, we already give them um, provisional authority, sir. In fact, even in NCR, there are already modern uh, units flying under the provisional authority, even without that route rationalization plan for um, the whole of Metro Manila. Um, if I may rin po, uh, with all due respect din po sa, sa DBT, Land Bank is not requiring that LPTRP approval. The LPTRP po, while it's a component of full uh, PUVMP or the, the whole PUV modernization program, is not a prerequisite for us, LTFRB, to be issuing or to allow our cooperatives to operate in their respective routes. Just to um, put it in proper context, but it's yes, it is part. The PTRP is part of the whole PUVMP process. But as I've mentioned, po, we are issuing, we are allowing um, co-ops to run existing route even uh, without that approved PTRP. Sir. I'd like to, uh, Sir Nilo, with your uh, uh, indulgence, no, I'd like to, to recognize Land Bank. Uh, Land Bank of the Philippines, uh, we see AVP Sir Jean, kasama po natin. You recognize, sir. So, tama Hi. po yung sinabi ng F LTFRB, sir, na hindi naman kailangan itong LPTRP sa inyo. Ay, magandang, magandang hapon po, uh, Senator Masubiri. Actually po sa Land Bank, uh, for the past... Uh, for almost four years na since 2017 hindi namin nire-require talaga yung ano yung LPTR LPTRP with the agreements sa DOTR at LTFR na just so the provisional authority is sufficient for a while kasi po nag start yung program during during 2017 through 2021 pero after so many years po at nakikita po namin ang nagsasuffer po yung mga transport cooperatives natin kasi po ang pangahawak nila is provisional authority instead of a franchise. And to enable yung DOTR or LTFRB to issue their franchise, they have to mandate LGU to prepare yung LPTRP. Yun ang requirement nila. Pero under DO2017-11 DO uh, po nila, sabi nila, if, in, uh, if the LGU po hindi gumagalaw, dapat ang LTFRB will take the initiative. Siya nang gagawa ng uh, LTP, LPTRP para sa LGU na yon para mapabilis lang po. Kasi po sa Land Bank, full support po kami sa modernization ng program, pero ayaw naman po namin mag-suffer yung mga transport cooperatives namin na pagkatapos nila maghiram ng limbawa, 50 units to finance their modernization program at 2 million pesos each. That is equivalent to 100 million. And then bigla silang mawawalan sa rota dahil itong LGU magpapasok ng LPTRP, kawawa naman po yung mga transport cooperatives natin dahil madidisplace po sila. May nangyari na po na ganyan. Kaya po, uh, ang intention po namin, number one, support the modernization program. At the same time, protectahan din po namin yung mga borrowing clients namin. Tulad po ng DBP, experience din po nila yan. Although we are not very strict, na-require namin yung outright franchise, nag-extend po na, na kami ng loan through provisional authority, pero pinag-iisipan din po namin na talagang ano namin i-require na namin yung ano yung franchise kasi po matagal na po ito hindi po gumagalaw kailangan po kasi ano po ito this, this should be a cooperative movement kasama yung land bank LTFR BDOTR and other and yung mga transport cooperatives that we will work in unison para ma-achieve yung modernization program hindi po pwedeng land bank or DBP lang pong gagawa nito yun po. So, uh, I, I fully agree with the sentiment of DBP po. Dapat po maayos yung uh, programa ng modernization ng Pilipinas. Sir, Sige, Sir Senator. May, may <coughs> yes, Mantina, go ahead, please. Sir, if, if I may learn, sir, no, let me clarify that a franchise is different from the LPTRP po. Ang franchise, ang LPTRP, yun nga, yung LGU, route plan po yun, sir. The franchise is different po naging policy po, merong policy ang, ang merong memorandum circular ang LTFRB na kapag ka na meet na po ng isang consolidated cooperative or as consolidated entity yung minimum na na units for that particular route na na-modernize na niya ay igagrant na po siya ng CPC. Ito po yung prangkisa na but how can they 
uh, have that franchise po, kapag hindi po natin silang tinulungan na makapag-acquire po ng mga units required para maging full CPC na po. Right now, PA pa lang po sila because of that condition that they have to modernize the unit. Hindi po condition yung LPTRP po ng LTFRB para makakuha ng prangkisa po. Units po ang ating nire-require para po makapag-prangkisa, modernized units, at yun ay makukuha natin sa tulong ng DBP at LTFRB. Ngayon naman po, if uh, mahirap po talaga sa uh, DBP and uh, land bank po no, na i-grant itong ano, ng, at mga cooperatives, Perhaps we can uh, request naman po the CDA, no? may mga cooperative banks naman po yung CDA, baka pwede saluhin na lang po itong ating mga transport cooperatives that they can uh, possibly make loans na lang, or may magbigay ng financial assistance with the same uh, arrangement with DDP and Land Bank para ma-expand naman po yung choices ng ating mga, uh, ng ating mga transport cooperatives po. Thank you. Actually, Ma'am Tina, uh, before I recognize uh, anyone, actually, si Ma'am Tina is correct. We also have a small business corporation here. Ako, malaking tiwala ako dyan. We, I was the one who moved to uh, increase the budget of the small business corporation sa Bayanihan 2 to 10 billion to give to our co-ops, our co-ops and MSMEs. And uh, mukhang uh, maganda naman yung performance nila. Uh, nandito naman si, si Jesse. Jesse, uh, you're with SB Corporation. Ano pong designation mo sa SB Corporation, Jess? Good afternoon, Senator. Good afternoon, everyone. Sir, I'm uh, with uh, Wale Calderon. I'm a uh, Chief Planning Specialist. And uh, we are, we're currently sir, doing uh, the Bayanihan Cares nga po, no? Uh, hello? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, at the moment, sir, uh, we have only catered po so far to uh, our TNBS uh, under the CARES program po natin. Uh, although we have uh, recently partnered with uh, alliance po of uh, yung mga trackers natin, uh, specific to the commuter sector, sir, uh, transportation, wala pa pong uh, direct po na, na partnership with them, sir. Sige, ganito, ganito gawin natin because that's another option. And Land Bank, I know that malalim ang mga bulsa ng Land Bank at DBP. Yes. But, yes, but, but I'm appealing to them and I think we'll have a separate meeting just focused on Land Bank, DBP, and the financial institutions together with the DILG. We have to appeal to them na the requirements that are uh, being requested with this uh, uh, lalo na itong LPTRP ay talaga napakahigpit and it's again, we're going back to the chicken or the egg scenario. Sabi nga ng LTFRB, hindi nila maibigay yung permanent franchise dahil wala pa mga bagong mga units dahil hindi nagpapahiram ang financial institutions dahil nga dito sa LPTRP. So we have to again ask uh, Secretary Anyo kasi DILG requirement ito na maybe it is not necessary. Maybe we do not need it as a, uh, as a necessary requirement itong LPTRP. No, let it may let it be a uh, DLG initiative with the local government units, but let's not make it a necessary requirement for the modernization program. Um, and also, my proposal, Congress, my co-chair, is that uh, pagdating po sa budget deliberation, maglalagay na rin ako ng pondo sa small business corporation, katulad ng ginawa natin sa co-ops, nung Bayanihan 2, for 2022, para sa transport co-ops, Lagyan din natin ang uh, pondo yung para sa transport ko para makapag-loan din po sila dyan dahil mas mabilis yung uh, mas uh, konti yung requirement. Hindi ko lang alam kung kaya ba ng uh, SB Corporation kasi you're limited lang, uh, di ba, Jesse, limited kayo sa release ng loan per organization or per, per cooperative. Ano po yung highest na malilist yung na loan? Kasi yung modernization, mahal yan eh. Kung bibili ka ng panibagong mga units. So we have a capture of 5, bill, uh, 5 million po at present. Yun ang media challenge po namin uh, sa ngayon. 5 million per cooperative. Ano yung cap ninyo, uh, Jesse? Senator, uh, may Hello. I respond, Senator? This is Wally Calderon. I'm also from Small Business Corporation. Okay, Wally, yes, go ahead, Wally. Yes, Sorry, sir. I didn't see your uh, destination. Uh, uh, sir, 
currently kasi we don't have a, a lending program specifically uh, tailored for cooperatives and specific to transport cooperatives. Yung sinasabi po ni Jesse earlier na 5 million cap, this is what we have as a, a ceiling for uh, our borrowers, our individual MSME borrowers. So if ever, sir, I heard that you are uh, planning to to download or provide funding for this specific program, uh, the Small Business Corporation would have to develop uh, uh, a specific program for this. And uh, initially, I see that uh, we will, as a financing institution, kanina sir, we also discussed that uh, you recognize that as financing institutions, we have to be prudent managers of the fund. So I hope uh, this can be uh, considered and uh, is also on the table that when we develop a program, while we want to help the transportation sector, transport cooperative sector, we we as an institution or is also mandated to to be prudent managers of this fund na na pera rin naman po ito ng mga taxpayer so yung guidelines na i-develop would would need to consider that heavily sir yeah maybe we can work with secretary uh, lopez diba together with the sb core come up with a proposal anyway uh, kami naman ng mga legislators sa magpondo niyan uh, we can put a seed fund of 1B, kaya kung kausapin yung chairman ng Committee on Finance, Senator Angara, and then we can work it out from there. Diba? So can you uh, tell your bosses sa uh, SB Corps na I'll meet with them, maybe I will discuss this during the budget deliberation of the uh, DTI? Kasi under attached agency kayo ng DTI, diba, uh, Wally? Yes, sir. Yes, Senator. Uh, that's correct. Thank you, so, sir, for okay. support. Thank you po sa recognition on, on our part po. Uh, you, uh, absolutely. No, I really believe in uh, also the city corporation. As I do with the other financial institutions, yung nga lang po, napakalaki na po ng BBP at Land Bank. Eh. Yung Land Bank, nagtatampo ako sa inyo dahil nawala yun yung aming uh, gawad pitak. Gawad pitak taon-taon, hinihintay po ng ating mga kooperatiba yan na mabigyan sila ng parangal. E eh, puro naman nag-uutang ng Land Bank yan pero hindi na binibigyan ng parangal. Kaya... Napaka-sayang ang, oh, ah, ah, ang, ano, ang partnership ng Land Bank at ng mga kong kapitang po ako sa Land Bank. Pero anyway, uh, sige po. So that's what we'll do. Um, I, I, uh, Chairman Press, I may have to leave because I'm meeting with the Ambassador of Singapore. My donation po sila sa Senado ng mga tents. Uh, I, I'm representing the Senate President. He'll be there at the... Uh, one o'clock, so I may have to also. Go ahead. Yes. You may take over. Yes, so that Chairman. Our colleagues can ask. Uh, baka may mga stakeholders na gusto magtanong directly sa land bank at sa DBP. Yes. Proposal uh, uh, This is to wrap up my to wrap up my proposal on our side. Uh, definitely, siguro Chairman Plus kailangan pa natin na isa pang meeting kasama ng DILG Secretary. Yes. Uh, to discuss this. And then we'll invite again Land Bank and uh, DBP together with the Small Business Corporation and discuss ways how we can move forward with the loan component, not the financing of this uh, uh, modernization program. Uh, my appeal to the Land Bank and to the DBP, uh, well, first of all, the Papa Salapato was Land Bank in the Atayan requirement as of now, and I hope it stays because uh, kung Nagsira pa ng bulsa yung land bank, eh, wala talaga silang mapupuntan. Alam ko kasi DBP, although you are partner of this modernization program, but you cater more to the larger picture. I know DBP looks more into the industries. It's a it's a bigger bank. It's a more of a universal bank. But land bank kasi ano yan eh. Uh, yan talaga ay designated to help uh, farmers, fisher folk, cooperatives, um, unless they change their mandate. But I know you're Si Ma'am Cecil, schoolmate ko yan sa Los Baños, kaya alam ko, puso niya nasa masang Pilipino. So, I'm sure she'll continue that. So, tuloy niyo lang po sana para matulungan natin ating mga transport properties. So, maybe final question to the land bank. Hindi po ito requirement sa inyo, sir. Um, sir Jean, ang uh, LPTRP. Hindi po ito requirement. So far po, hindi po requirement ng land bank. Uh, 
Dahil okay. full support pa po kami sa PUV modernization. Very good. That's I'm glad to hear, Sir Gene. Sabi mo na lang kay Ma'am Cecil, ha, yung uh, gawad pitak, baka in the next uh, administration, pwede natin ibalik. <laughs> Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, yes, compress, yes, compress. Yeah, I think uh, si uh, Deputy ano Director ng Arta si Jeremy, Mr. Bergiga gusto ata magmanifest. Mr. Chair, yes, uh, uh, yes, sir, DG Director General, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair, uh, Chair Pre Presley, sir. Um, thank you, sir. We we would be inviting also Mr. Chair on Monday, three thirty. Uh, the participants as well so that we could also, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, further thresh this out and uh, make a report uh, to your honors uh, on this, Mr. Chair. Uh, we, we've been doing some research already, Mr. Chair, while we were discussing. So we'll uh, submit our position papers uh, very soon, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you very much, Director General. Mabilis ka talaga and I'm very happy for your presence there in uh, Arta. Thank you very much. And Ms. Sopras, before we, we uh, with the permission of the body, because uh, I can see that naging, naging masungit yung mukha ni Ma'am Celia uh, sa eh, <laughs> si Doc. Baka makalimutan siguro niya. Baka makalimutan ko banggitin yung implementation ng ating uh, uh, CDO officers. So, ibalik lang natin uh, with your permission, Sir Press, before I turn it over to you uh, in the permission thank of the body. You. Okay, uh, thank you. Yeah, we can uh, ask the DILG, uh, si, yung taga DILG earlier, si Sir Ryan. Sir Ryan, nandyan po pa po kayo? Sir Ryan, DILG? Wala na ata siya, Mr. Chair. Wala, nawala na yata. Uh, anyway, we still have another round of meetings, uh, Mr. Chair, so yes. we can invite. Maybe we so can... Uh, yeah. Siguro kayo ano lang, Sir Press, uh, si ano na lang si Ma'am Selly. Ma'am Selly, kamusta na po ang inyong uh, implementation? Anong balita? Dumadami ba kayo? Pumukonte? O na ina point na? Uh, wala pa, Sir. Ano? Uh, good afternoon po sa lahat. Wala pa, Sir, direct appointment. Pero, Sir, ano, work in progress, Sir, kami. Uh, meron po kami constant meeting. Uh, nagtayo po ang uh, CDA ng ano, technical working group composed of the LC DOP and some uh, local government units, sir, uh, together with the ILG. Para po, sir, dun sa implementation po dito ang ating 11.535. Sir, uh, banggitin ko lang po, dalawang beses na, sir, kami nag-meeting ng BILG. At sila po ay nakapagpalabas na, sir, ng isang uh, memorandum dated uh, April 9, sir, yung pong official transmittal of our 11.535. Nirequest po namin yun. Nagkataon naman ng sir na siya ay linggo ng weekend, nitong Agosto, at talaga pong nakatagalog, nakapilipino yung unang MC. Yung binabanggit po kayo na sir ng taga DILG na merong silang nakadraft na memo, may ilalabas pong uh, subsequent memorandum circular sir, mas detalyado po siya kung saan po ay inuulit yung mga provision ng RA 11.535. At ang maganda, sir, doon, may component siya ng monitoring. Yung monitoring po will provide a mechanism for the DILG, sir, to monitor the compliance of uh, local government units doon po sa pagpatalaga ng mga cooperative officer. So, bali, sir, on our part po ay... Kami sir, ano, yung LCDO po is addressing the ano, yung mga agresibo mga LGUs na using this 11.535 as the fresh, the most ano, uh, recent issue once legal basis. Ay kami po yung crafted uh, a template. Nagawa na sir kami ng ano local ordinance na pwede nilang gamitin. And uh, so far po because I'm in region 4 A and B, meron na po kaming isa sir na sample, yung Oriental Mindoro na dati po ay kasama siya ng ano, Cooperative and Tourism uh, Enterprise Development. Kinalas na sir yung si Cooperative, uh, napasa na po yung kanilang ordinansa. Isang full-fledged department na po ang sa Lalawigan ng Mindoro as Cooperative and Enterprise Development Office. And in the same uh, province, sir, ay meron na rin po na ang gumaga na po kasi Cooperative Officer is a municipal agriculturist. So what was being created now, sir, 
is ano, a division within the department within the municipal office ng agriculture. So the municipal agriculturist will be the municipal cooperative officer, but there will be a section that will handle cooperative development program. Tapos sir, meron kami mga ilang ano, discoveries. Meron po pala mga LGUs na ginamit na yung cooperative officer position na napa-appoint sa isang. Unfortunately lang sir, dahil siguro nga hindi requirement yung local cooperative program in the local development plan, hindi sila nag-function. So what we're doing now, sir, is uh, ang approach namin, sir, is not for a new ordinance but a sort of a mandatory ordinance, sir. Para, sir, i ano naman siya, i-fit in siya, sir, kung ano yung nire-require ng batas at kung ano rin po yung hinihinging mga uh, functions ng ating ma-appoint na cooperative officer. Just for the record, Mr. Chairman, baka po magiging interest natin ito, uh, medyo malaking population po natin ang uh, tuwang-tuwa dahil naipasa po natin itong ating batas. Uh, dahil, sir, out of 82 provinces, ito po talaga yung official record namin, meron lang po tayong 33 prov provinces na meron pong full-pledged cooperative office. Hindi lang, sir, cooperative officer ha, full-pledged cooperative office siya na meron po talaga silang staffing at merong... Uh, funding for cooperative development program. Sir, out of uh, 115 cities, meron po tayong 73 cooperative officers. Yun lang po, sir, magkakaiba yung setup nila. Meron po diyang full-fledged city cooperative office, meron pong city division, at meron pong city section. Yung iba po, uh, depending on the number of the cooperatives, ang aming pong hinahataw ngayon, sir, is the elevation of the section to either a division or a department, depending on the availability of fund. Uh, ang medyo, sir, nakakalungkot ay eh, on the part of the municipalities, out of 1,497, 49 lang po yung merong municipal cooperative officers. Hindi pa siya, sir, office. Siguro po out of 49, we have around 9, uh, 7 to 9 uh, cooperative offices in the municipal level. So, yung natitirang napakalaking porsyento, sir, ito yung we wish to believe would be more ano, the, the happiest sector kasi, uh, portion kasi sila yung ano, gagamit ngayon itong ating 11535 uh, na kanilang legal reference. Plus, we would like, ano, sir, to to thank everybody kasi doon po sa devolution, we do not know actually yung ano nila, yung pinagbasihan. Pero, Senator, yung uh, congressman, yung kung isa sa mga legal basis doon sa devolution, kita ko po number one eh, uh, legal basis, uh, Republic Act number 11535, as if na merong i sorry po sa CDA, as if na may i na function yung CDA sa local government. Pero kagaya po ng amin na pag-usapan, I think what we're working with the CDA is more on partnership, collaboration, uh, para po dun sa ating cooperative sector. So, so far, sir, uh, I've sent invitation. Sabi ko nga po, work in progress. Kasi, sir, meron nga po ako dito ng ano, uh, list ng events, February 16, 17, yung passage ng batas po uh, mula sa Senado at sa House of Representatives. April 9, napirmahan po ng ating Pangulo sa batas. June 13, sir, nagkaroon na kami ng audience with the CDA with, and the DILG. August 2, nagkaroon na po ng meeting yung technical working group. And August 11, na-issue po yung uh, circular ng DILG uh, for the official transmittal ng copy ng 11535. And, sir, uh, sa October 15 po, uh, which is a part of our cooperative month celebration, sinama na namin, sir, siya as one of the major activities. I've sent invitation to your respective offices, sir. Hindi po matutuloy ang pagkakayo hindi namin kasama dahil kayo ang aming mga champion sa sector. <laughs> Then, hindi ka pa nagtatams up. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, okay. Sige po. Sir, actually, Sabi sir, chairman. Apo, sir, nakafocus kami diyan and our theme is advancing cooperatives in local governance. Tatahihin na po namin ng buong buo at makita po namin kung ano ba gang uh, talagang uh, figure, kung siya ba isang takterno o kung siya ay blouse lang o siya ay pants. Para po talaga yung, yung, yung cooperative kagaya po ng parang ano na, we have a, a tall task now. While uh, these transport co-ops have a lot of problem, parang dapat nga siguro focus tayo. Dapat talaga ka-partner yung CDO. And, and I think this could be one of the functions ng CDO. Sige, na, ma'am. Ano, kami okay. po, ikas yung na namin. Kahit hindi kami... 
uh, expert sa transport cooperative na asistihan ang mga na organize na transport ko kahit pupunta sa OTC, sa LTFRB. So, Sen, I think dire-diretso na po ito hanggang sa panahon na mabilang kung ilang LGU ang nag-comply po doon sa sinasabi ng bata. Sabi ko nga po, kung tapos na yung term ng mga LCEs, baka pwede namang legacy nila na naipundar nila yung cooperative office and they were able to institutionalize local cooperative development program. Kung ito po'y bagong termino ng mga local chief executive, may deserve as a novel program kasi sila ang magbibit-bit sa local government. But all of these things will not be in realization with outer help. So, doon lang sir ang ating laban katulad din po ng mga naunang LGUs na will not benefit from this but we're going to be the pushers for other LGUs na ngayon lang nag Thank you very much po, Senator Congressman. Thank you, Ma'am Selly. Ma'am Selly, thank you po. Napaka, you, talaga nakita nun naman na si Ma'am Selly, uh, talagang ganadong-ganado. At siya yung mga yes, talaga sir. kailangan natin ng mga cooperators na may tutulak itong programa natin. So, may I just ask if Ma'am Sir Joseph is still there, our CDA Chair? Si uh, Joy? Uh, Chairman Joy? Andiyan po po kayo? Uh... Anyone from uh, the CDA? Because I'd like to ask the CDA to give me a full report to verify itong sinasabi nga ni uh, President Celia on the number of, uh, officially, the number of municipalities, uh, provinces, and uh, cities that make cooperative development officer. So I'd like to ask uh, the uh, CDA. You know, we'll request the, the CDA for a report to us, uh, Chairman Press. Uh, yes. Ask them for a formal report. Yes, I agree with you, uh, Mr. Chair. Again, so uh, I, don't, I don't think they're here. So maybe we still have the second round anyway, uh, Chairman yes, Mitch. Yes. So we will just have them for the second round. Yes. So, gentlemen, ladies, you mga hindi nakapagsalita, pwede po kayo sa second round. We can call it uh, uh, after the break, when we start the break, maybe first week of October, kasi tama yeah. tama ko, month naman yan. Yes. Um, Hindi lang ako makakapagtagal pa as Congress, and I think we have we have this thoroughly discussed naman the issues, and yes. uh, we just need the right uh, individuals for the next hearing. You makakagawa ng decisions, for example, the DILG, and of course uh, the uh, uh, nandyan naman yung DOTR aptly answering the the uh, comments, and we'll invite again the financial institutions to come. My big thanks to of course the DBP. Uh, land Bank, lalo ng Land Bank, walang requirement na LPTRP. Maraming salamat, Land Bank. Si Sir Jean and si Sir Ed, thank you po uh, sa Land Bank. And uh, of course, to our stakeholders, uh, SB Corporation is here, to our stakeholders po, lahat ng mga kooperatiba uh, na nandito po na yon. And of course, to the LTFRB, the DOTR. After noon, Mr. Senator. Of course, Arta. I won't forget Arta. They are our biggest partners. Uh, in this uh, fight for anti-red tape. Salamat po, Director General. I see also uh, Sir Badi uh, Santos. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, the joke, we ran out of time. Anyway, we'll have a second round. We will uh, just uh, uh, acknowledge you on the first, on the second round and you can give a report to us, uh, Sir Badi. Uh, gutom na rin lahat ng tao dito for sure. Sir, yes, we can manifestation, sir. This is from attorney, yeah, attorney Zona, go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Uh, on the part of LTFRB, we'd also like to manifest we will be submitting our written, uh, we'll provide um, the body, sir, with our written uh, um, comments, sir, on, on what has been discussed as well as your status quo. So that uh, on the part of LTFRB, po, ibigay din namin yung mga information that uh, the committee is uh, needing po para dito. And um, we'd also like to manifest that uh, presently rin po naman po, we are in constant communication and we have been holding several meetings din po with Land Bank and DBP to iron out po itong concern on the LPTRP. But LTFRB is very much willing po to issue that certification if only to put um, some form of assurance po on the routes po ng ating mga cooperatives. So we will be just be putting our... Um, comments po in writing and will be sending po sa inyong respective offices. Thank you po, sir. Thank you very much, attorney. And also, we'd like to thank uh, uh, members of the different federations. We saw earlier Gary. Uh, we also 
of the Philippine Cooperative uh, Center and uh, sila ni, uh, the, the, their group, no, and grupo nila. We also have with the academy here, uh, si Professor Talaba. Uh, we have also with us from the BIR uh, is with us. Uh, Milago, wala po nag raise ng issue sa BIR. <laughs> Which is good. It's good. Uh, and of course, to the other uh, transportation corporate which nandito po na yun. Huwag po kayo mag-alala. Nangako po kami ni Sir, ni Chairman Press na magkakaroon po tayo ng round two. Yes. Kung hindi po yes. kapagsalita, atin silang i-recognize. At uh, ang mahalaga po dyan ay uh, uh, napag-usapan natin yung uh, hinanaing ng ating transport cooperatives at naging klaro nung po sa amin ni Sir Press, the Chairman Press, kasi siya po yung taga-electric cooperative. Ako, sanay po ako sa mga multipurpose cooperatives. So, ngayon po yung nakatutok naman tayo sa transport cooperatives at tulungan po, tutulungan po namin kayo ng committee ito. Nandiyan si Chairman Press. We will make that commitment and we will come up with the necessary uh, resolutions uh, for the government agencies to support this uh, sector. So with that, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, magpabakuna po kayo, huwag po kayo maniwala sa mga anti-vaxxers dahil <laughs> importante po yung bakuna. Gusto ko ligtas po kayo lahat para sa susunod nating meeting. So once again, uh, maraming maraming salamat on the part of the Senate. Uh, thank you very much. This meeting is uh, now... Uh, suspended because we have another meeting. So we suspend the meeting. So, Chairman Press? Yeah, thank you again, Mr. Uh, Chairman, Mr. Chair. Actually, tama ka rin, no? when it comes to transport, na medyo neglected to, kumbaga. At sila talaga tinamaan of, ng pandemia natin. So, this time, nangako si Chairman Mix, saka ako, na tutulungan namin talaga ang sector nito. Kasi itong tinamaan, uh, remember, Ms., Mr. Chair, nung no, naglalakad ako dyan, ang, ang mga namamalimun sa mga driver na, Kawawa naman na sila. So, it's about time, it's high time na tulungan natin. And yan magiging priority namin ni Chairman Mix. Being the chairman in lower house and he being the chairman ni, in the upper chamber sa Senate, eh, yan ang priority namin ngayon. Especially budget season, we can push them uh, to the max para na matulungan natin ang ating sector. On the part of the lower house, uh, this meeting is be suspended for the second round. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone. God bless yeah, you all. Everyone.